Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching in the world, Sean Driver, the Red Horde, and uh, do you fancy yourself a Darby? Is this a Darby? Um, and as I just log in, all of the, the whole scoreboard goes down. Good stuff. I, like literally just transferred it over and everything just went, you know what? No. So let me see if I can just hit that refresh button really quick on all of those. Will that work? We'll try and get that back up. And if not, I'll have to jump onto the scoreboard and pull that because we're not going to be missing out on that. Um, I did put the poll in the question. Uh, do you consider this a derby? Is this just a rivalry? What will you call this? Um, I've got it as a rivalry. Um, I know geographically it's there. I know that certainly on the internet and through Twitter, this was the most heated week of the bunch. Um, there were a lot of uh, ramblings let's call them, uh, um, going on between uh, Tranmere fans and, and Wrexham fans, including myself. So it was it was a good time. It's It's been a good time. It's been uh, entertaining. And I kind of fully expect that we're going to get uh, a melee uh, that may be appearing in here as that just came up and then it disappeared. Please don't do this today. They seem to be populating. So we'll leave that alone. I mean, how many derbies can you really have is, I guess, the take. And and we've got, we've called like three or four different games. We've had the Southwest Dar Welsh Derby with Newport. That one didn't make any sense to me. To me, Shrewsbury and Chester are our two. And I think when you start to push it beyond the level of having multiple derbies, you have to start to ask the question of, is it truly a derby? Um, I think Tranmere fans are a little bit more emotional with this one than Wrexham fans are. At the end of the day, I want three points. Uh, I don't care how we get them. Um, I don't care if it's a, if it's an ugly game or not. I, I, it's it's still desperately important. You've got uh, the Dons and Crew Alexandra playing their their six pointer, so there's going to be points taken uh, and won in that one. And then you've got Barrows potentially sneaking in. I didn't put the Stockport game obviously because they're playing on Monday, having just gone through their uh, one all draw on Thursday. So um, there should be plenty of goals. And I, I, I would agree with you, except going through the stats, I kind of, then I started to, I was with you, Kim. I was with you. And then I started to look at the stats and I went, well, maybe I was wrong. So I'll assess that and go over it with you in just a moment here as I try and get on that stuff. The Derby is the, is Derby. Um, it's a rivalry. It goes, it's, it's what the British call their their rivalry games it's the the mets and the yankees the yankees and the red Sox, the cowboys and the well commanders i guess now um those sorts of things patrick o'shaughnessy welcome happy to have you here and, and joining in and so we're gonna get warmed up for this one if you haven't been here before uh we only follow i follow or i only recommend i follow uh 80 goes to the team so go ahead and do that um, we'll talk about the latency. I'm going to jump into the statistics. I've got a couple added features and obviously the after 90 is going on and it's going to be a full one. Carl Roberts is going to be there from the Welsh Beast. Uh, I know Josh from the local pundit's going to be there. Uh, I've heard that Matt's going to, yeah, Matt's going to be heading back home quickly to get on there. Baz will be there and Baz may have a special guest. So there's going to be lots after this one's done. We'll make sure we can transfer over there and soak that one in. Um, no, Notts County is, is a rivalry, not a derby, because although they were important and, and we had that, that rivalry trying to get through the National League, we just don't have the history of the of games with them going long periods of time over in, into the past. And we're not geographically proximate. Um, they would not consider us um, one of their rivals. Um, there's, there is a uh, fan led survey that went out where people considered who they considered to be their derbies and their most hated teams uh and so that's an interesting one to look at maybe that's something to do down the road is to pull that one out and, and pull that sort of stuff so um we will see what ends up happening uh, on a go forward basis as to the lineup let's just uh, make the wrexham la lineup static here so we can go through it uh but da -da -da -da. And we'll turn that one off and I'll transition. There we go. So the biggest move uh, we knew we had to have somebody come in and it was going to be McLean. The question was, is the TOC going to be healthy? Is Evans going to be healthy? Is it going to be Young who's going to slide in? The answer is it's Young who's going to get the start. I think that's the safe bet uh, going forward. Um, I mean, he's been playing very well defensively. The last game, he looked a little bit off. 
Uh, but other than last game, he's been sharp all the way through. The thing I do like about Young is, oh my God, that means Lee's not taking corners. And our set piece has just improved immensely. Um, Lee, an absolute wizard in open play. But when it comes to set pieces, uh, a little bit left to be desired. So um, Luke Young drawing in. The other one, uh, lots of talk about the striker duo. Who is it going to be? Mullen obviously going to be there. Uh, you know, the, there are some rumblings that have, people had been looking for more time from Marriott, but I think most have, have settled on either Palmer or Fletcher. And the debate between the two is this. Uh, Palmer, when he's on statistically, the team scores more goals as a team. When Fletcher's on, obviously, he's... A little bit higher level more creative and uh and he puts those through there pundit are you not doing your show today man what's going on i mean interesting um happy to have you here maybe you're just jumping over a little bit late um and so then th that's the big the big shock to me is um not only okay the good news o'connor's on the bench so we're probably going to see him at some point drawing in but where i'm uh sort of taken aback just pop it in to say hi. Local pundits is here. And by the way, um, Josh has a watch party. We have a watch party. Um, sometime we've been talking about maybe doing a joint thing. I don't know. Um, but we do the after 90 minutes together. And so he's here. How are you, Josh? I crashed his party yesterday and he's crashing mine. Uh, so um, Dolby is the big surprise to me. Um, Marriott granted, he has not opened his account. He's looked good as far as buzzing around and lots of legs, but not really put it through, but, um, hasn't really cracked open the account and, and people are starting to look as he Billy Waters 2.0, what's going on. Um, I think he needed more minutes, not less. And instead we go to Dolby, who I'm going to be honest, has had more time and just, he, he hasn't stirred the drink for me. And so, um, I've got some some issue with that but at the end of the day I, this is a lineup that can get us to three points so let's let's do that and let's go back to kim's co comment earlier about uh um what we've got coming forward i'm going to take that comment off there because i've redone my um statistics and i want to pull those up now and show you what they look like so here we go with the season statistics. You've got the record up there. Wrexham 19, 10, and 8 sitting in third. Tranmere 14, 5, and 19 and 16th. You can see the last five matches. And as much as Tranmere's had some massive games, they've taken um, scalps, I guess is what they're called. Uh, although maybe that term should change given the, uh, the etymology and the source of it. But we'll figure that out. Um, Mansfield, they took them uh, out last, was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday uh, with the 2-1 win. But they've got... They've been playing better, let's be honest. Since January 11th, I think they're second on the table. Um, but they're still struggling in, in games as well. They had lost F to Forest Green. They lost to Swindon away. And it's their away form that, that, that may be letting them down. And you can follow that down the goals for and against. And I've got them both homes and away. Look, we're, we're rolling through goals for 67, goals against 46. That's fourth and seventh in the league overall. Um, Tranmere not that far behind, uh, eighth when it comes to goals for, 13th when it goals against. But here's where th things start to turn is the is the away form. Tranmere's away form is not good. Uh, and the reason why, look at that goals for home and away. Uh, so for us at home, we score 48 of our 67 goals have come uh, at the race course. For Tranmere, 19 goals of their 57. That's it. 20th in the league for goals away from home. That's uh, that's that's a struggle. And when you look at their away, what they're letting in, 31. Something's got to give there. The, uh, the consequence of that, three wins, three draws, and 13 losses away. So I was anticipating a win. I was predicting it was going to be a goal fest of 3-2. But then I saw that they're not really scoring that much. And so... I went 3-1. And yeah, after is going to be pushing Mendy back today. I didn't go through their lineup and we've got to we've got to do that. So I will pull that up um, at some point in time, as as Josh points out after. They've got they've got three or four big players who are really going to push the show for them. And the rest are all sort of the supporting cast where I think we're a little bit deeper. We've got six or seven that can step step up on any given day. Uh, and pot one, I think they've they, they've they're focused through their three or four people. Let's bring up the next set of stats that you guys are maybe more familiar with. And this is, whoop, got to click one more button. This is the season statistics between Wrexham and Tranmere, and you look at sh where they're strong, where they're weak, and where we are rolling. Shots on target per ninety, um, they're still doing pretty good. 
we're sitting second in the league and we've been stuck there for the longest time. 5.59 shots on target per 90 minutes. They are at 4.58 um, goals per shots on target. Exactly the same. So clinical, not clinical, uh, whatever you want to call it. We're below the average, both sitting at 15th and 16th in the league. But that's where we sit for goals per shots on target. Um, shots on target against. This is where things start to change a little bit is defensively. We're a little bit more sound. Four shots on target against compared to their 4.74, which doesn't sound like a lot. But over the course of the game that's and the course of the season, that's the difference between being sixth in the league and 18th in the league. I mean, you're looking at one and uh, three and ten go in, I guess. Uh, that one extra shot a game can often be the difference. Save percentage. Their keeper. Um, McGee is, is, has got the most minutes. He's, he's been in the lineup. OBS studio disconnected. Reconnection successful. I don't know what just happened to my OBS and I hope I'm still here. I'm going to hit the live button here and just make sure everything is okay. Seems to be okay to me. That was an awkward little hiccup. Um, Possession, uh, look, 45.9%, they're 19th in the league, which makes me think that they're a counter-attacking team. And the other th statistic that I just want to draw your attention to is they have a low number of accurate crosses and are a little bit higher on their accurate long balls. So what I suspect is that's one of two things. I think they build through the middle and as a backup when they can't build through the middle, you'll see the long balls. Um, their accurate passes aren't fall off, far off the match. So that's what I'm expecting. This is the one team that I haven't seen yet. If you don't remember, if you're new to the watch party, uh, I slept in for one game so far this season. Uh, that was Tranmere. I was over in Maple Bay uh, where I proposed to my wife uh, for just another trip with the kids to go and check everything out. And uh, yeah, didn't stir myself awake to be able to jump on for that one. So I'm seeing them for the first time. And I've done one more statistic to take you through. And that is... Ooh. I got to get rid of this one. Hold on. The referee. Transfer that one over. The referee for this one, Scott Oldham, um, experienced. His debut came back in the 2017. There are 65, just so that you're, if you're looking on the right-hand column, you're going to see, and you bl still blame. Hey, we won that game. Didn't we win that one nothing? On an Aaron Hayden goal that was a header? I saw the highlights, uh, so I hope that was the case. But... Uh, we, and yes, WMG, you're right. On all accounts, we should be able to beat them today, but that's why you play the games and it can always be up for surprises. I just don't want one today. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit further, uh, a little bit later on. But let's talk about Scott Oldham. Uh, his, his last Rexon game, he was there for the Barrow game on New Year's Eve. We won four to one. I will say, if you go through his statistics, he's done 10 games this year. Look at his goals per game, 4.7. He was on for the Mansfield 9-2 drubbing that they had. Um Oh man, who did they beat nine to two? Some it was a Harrogate, somebody that we just played recently. Anyways, um, four point seven the games are four point seven goals per game. He's been around for a while. There are sixty five referees that have had at least one game in control in League Two so far this year. And so when you're looking down that right hand column, you can see compare those fifteenth, fiftieth, thirty fifth, and twenty second numbers to how where he ranks compared to the other 65. What's interesting about him as a game, he calls a lot of fouls, 15th out of 65 per game. So those are the per game numbers, 0 0.8 per game. Uh, that seems exceptionally low with my math, but uh, potentially that's, did I pull the wrong number? Maybe I did. His yellow cards, 4.11, that's 3.3 per game. That's exceptionally low. So, um, Fouls up, and I've done the math wrong on that because the fouls are up, but the, uh, and I know that the fouls are up. I've transposed the wrong numbers there, but the yellow cards and the red cards, he hasn't given one away in 10 games. Uh, that's both straight red and also through collecting a second yellow card. Penalties, though, he uh, he changes things up and goes back to the fouls. He's, he's happy to call it a foul without giving a card, potentially. Who knows? He's given away three. That's, uh, that's 0. 0.3 per game, so uh one in every three in a little bit games so we'll see what ends up happening there i'm going to bring back my ugly mug here now i hope there we go three points in coming you too josh enjoy we'll talk to you at the after 90 minutes and uh this has been an interesting fascinating evening last 48 hours uh as the x and Twitter exploded with commentary and comments from Tranmere fans. They're definitely into this one because they are flooding things. And, and I've made a, a tweet that went out there about not being able to find any intelligent life uh, in Tranmere. Um, 
it, it's been awkward. Like usually you find some fans who, uh, you know, give you some insight and have a good conversation, but this is just straight insults. And one comment that I actually had to go full lawyer on, uh, <laughs> and end up being like uh let's talk about apologies and deleting messages so still fascinating the address my use of the shania twain gif I, that was the one at least one of them figured out that we're in canada uh so it was amazing so if there are any tranmere fans that are here I, I i do have that one minute subscriber rule so they're gonna have to log in before they do it but i kind of expect that there's going to be some who do that and there's going to be some nonsense that happens uh, brandon if i see that you're here i've got the chat open so that it's ready to potentially deal with that but uh maybe of assistance if you with your moderator controls can go to the youtube channel and in the chat there's uh three little buttons that show up behind everybody's name feel free to use your discretion if things go a little bit wild but i am happy to have tranmere fans here I just hope that you're willing to talk about the game and, and, and go on with it. Look, it's it's a big one. Um, Mansfield's got Bradford, and who knows what you're getting out of Bradford these days, and who knows really what you're getting out of Mansfield, uh, to be fair. Everybody seems to be ducking, wanting to have control. For Wrexham, what does this set of games mean? The four that are the going on, there are the three that are going on today, and the fourth one with Stockport on Monday, is we could be anywhere from first to week to fourth. Uh, if, if we win this one and and, and and Mansfield is not able to secure a point, we're going to jump them into first. But likewise, if we lose this and there's a three-pointer either between Crew or MK Dons, uh, they're going to jump up. So um, with the MK Dons Crew game, I'm cheering for a tie. I don't know what you guys are doing, uh, but I'm hoping they don't score anything or they even just match each other throughout the entirety of the match. Um, just because I'd rather have just two points being handed out rather than the full three. So we'll see what's going to happen there. But this is, this is going to be a fascinating, fun one. And to be fair, I don't think for any other reason that just their fans going completely sideways that I am really, really hoping that we win this one, not just for, for the points, for the desire to push forward, but uh, also just to secure things. So if you haven't been here, we're 12 minutes away from kickoff. I'll uh, remind everybody of, of it one more time. I've logged in. I'm ready to get the game. It's playing with the commercials in my ears. But I'm going to be behind you. There's a latency that's involved. And so if you're new here, all I ask is no spoilers in the chat. It, just wait until uh, I catch up with you because it takes some time to come to me and to go out to you guys. So feel free to send your comments up in the top. Um, let me know, sh you know, thoughts on Dolby entering the lineup, whether you think that was the right call or you would have liked to have seen Marriott. Do you think it should have been Young or O'Connor? Do we really know because of injury stuff? Whatever you guys want to talk about, let's get those questions rolling through the chat in the next, oh, 10, 11 minutes before we get to kickoff. And I'm going to bring the chat up here so I can start to do so. Easy, easy. <laughs> ah, I guess we've got the point differential. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to worry about it. Get us the three points. I, what I'm really hoping for, and I know this is weird, is is there's an extra game on, I think it's the, is it the April 9th or April 16th? It might be the 16th as Mark Griffiths appears in my ears. Um, it might be April 16th where Knott's County plays Stockport. And I would love to go on a crazier run through these next series of games and get enough points such that Knott's County controls whether we get uh, promoted or not in that game. And if they beat Stockport, Knott's County could secure Wrexham's promotion, I think would be a, a funny sidebar in the side story. And then the crew game and the Stockport game, we just use for pure entertainment purposes. I am all right with it not being in English as long as if somebody flags it as being a, a troubled word, um, I'm probably going to lean a little bit their way. This is the 104th game. And the, yeah, I did pull up the stats. 63 of those, I think it is, off the me just memory recalling, uh, wins for Wrexham long term. Uh, as Tramir fans have reminded me constantly is they were ahead of us and we were in their shadows for the last 17 years and I'm not a real fan and nor are half of you who are joined in here. Uh, it was a, a lot of a lot of nonsense that was going on. Um, yes, Stephen, I would I don't know about starting because Parky's so late with his starts. I, I want to see a game where Marriott gets in in like the 55th, 60th minute, uh, depending on what's going on. And and yes, 
Arthur's on the pitch, that, and not Arthur Ogonquan, I believe it's Arthur, 100 years of age. Um, and so there, he's on the pitch right now getting a, a framed picture from Humphreys. And that's amazing. He's on the front of the front of the, the uh, what's this thing called? What's this thing called? The program. <laughs> he's on the front of the program this year, celebrating his 100th, and hopefully he can get to 101 and we're in League One. I am looking for miracles. I am looking for miracles. Yeah, it's James. I'm with you. It, it, I I don't understand why Marriott falls out of the squad. Palmer is a more natural replacement for Fletcher, and and I get that. In that's what I expect, and I don't really see anyone coming on. That's what I said. Is can you imagine if Palmer and the we need a goal and are we really taking Mullen off in the 80th, 82nd minute, 85th minute? Maybe if we're up by three goals, uh, Dalby gets a run out and just give Mullen a break. So I guess that's probably the only reason why he's there, but you're limiting your bench uh, because I think you'd rather have Marriott, but Hey, what do I know? I'm not Parky and Parky. We trust yada, yada, yada. We give it a good try. going to have multiple languages and I can't criticize it because I've spoken Korean both in text and and audio here so um, we will see what get we what happens here we've been slowing down in our home form with respect to our goals uh, we're down like a goal and a half uh, over recent games so I'm, I'm hoping we're able to turn that around we need the home form to hold and we need the away form that we maybe found a little bit of something to continue as we build this bugger up and get into nine games, eight left after this one. Yeah, it's getting tight. That game against Mansfield is nearing. And then those last two at the end against crew and Stockport, and it's time to eat. It's time to get points. It's time to move forward as uh, Rex doing his thing on the screen. And that could be, that could be because it doesn't make sense to me. And I'm with Andrew here. Anytime you, I think uh, you can take away a point from somebody, you do that. And we're obviously cheering for Harrogate against Barrel. The reason I listed them, they're sitting in sixth. Uh, they've got two games in hand. They've got an opportunity to go on a run. And, you know, it'd be helpful if Harrogate just puts the boots to them and, and lowers them down sufficiently enough that it's just five fighting their way through. And I would really love to see one of the other five or two to just fall off the map. Uh, as well as we go through here. Um, so I don't know, Five, six minutes in and and it's it's going to be an interesting one. Oh, I didn't go through their lineup. Um, the names that you're going to want to want to focus on as you go through this one uh, are pretty clear. I'm going to just do this and bring them in here. Obviously, McGee, his save percentage, I brought it up just below Ogonquo. Um, he, he seems to be uh, very capable uh, as a keeper. And so I anticipate that that's going to be a, a problem for us, but you're watching uh, number 26, 25, 20, 26 after in the midfield Walker in the midfield and Morris up front are, are the three big ones. Jennings is another one, obviously their leading scorer. So those are their four Jennings, Morris after Walker after is going to be uh, Mendy's going to be dealing with him the whole day on the left-hand side. Walker prowls the middle. And so that's going to be predominantly Luke Young. Chen, uh, yeah, I'll show us. Oh, I've forgotten all of my Korean um, because it's been a decade since I've spoken it. But anyway, uh, it's nice to see you here and I'm glad you're here and I'm going to go with this after is a class player. And yeah, it's, it's Walker in the middle and it's after their midfield is maybe one of the ones that's, that challenges our midfield uh, as being closer to the top. I think their back line's a little bit struggling and their, their striking trio, I guess is, is no two. They do a full four, two is capable. Um, if not exceptional, it's capable. Uh, and you've got that with Morris Jennings and Saunders. Jennings leads the league with 11, or leads their team with 11. After leads their team with nine. Morris has eight. As a comparison, uh, Lee and Mullen have 15 for us with Fletcher sitting on eight in his limited time. So a little bit of a step down in their goals, but there's those three certainly contributing. And on assists, it's Jennings and Walker. And so 
We shall see how it goes. Expect Mendy being asked to draw back defensively a lot, which means Barney's going to go forward. And that's another question we didn't ask, or I didn't ask. I thought this might be a game for Bolton to start. And so... No, he doesn't have to go back to Arsenal. In fact, uh, I don't. He, we were able to sign him. He's he's on a free, I believe. But because of his age, you still have to pay a structured amount over to Ogonquo. Maybe I should do a video about that when and if I ever have time to do things. <laughs> so many things to to throw in there, but. Um, Yeah, I had Stockport at the top. I didn't have Mansfield, to be fair. I, I I had the Dons close. I didn't have Crew anywhere close. And so my my guess is hit or miss. Um, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Um I didn't I thought Knotts was a playoff team. I had uh I had Stockport, us, and oh, who was the third team I had? As my kids are crying. I can't even remember who I had as third, but it was somebody who's not anywhere close right now. Swirly, I would have had liked Bolton to start because I thought he did well against Harrogate, especially since Barnett was off. And I was the same way. I thought that that was the first game against um, Harrogate that Barney played bad. Well, not bad. He didn't play as well as we're, we're used to. And so I would have thought that. Well, I'll even add one more, f one further. Barnett hasn't scored a goal yet this season in league play. So, and I don't know if he scored in a cup or not. I don't think so. Um, so yeah, he's, he's struggling. He hasn't played well and uh, he hasn't scored. So let's throw all that voodoo out there. Bradford's so unpredictable. And for a team that has the revenue sources as the players are making their way out, Tranmere and those God awful geographical black Mount Everest pattern. I don't know what it is. Um, Rock chick. How are you? Nice to have you here. Um, well, and that's, that's the thing is neither, I mean, Odo was their, was their back who was responsible for Barney and, and Bolton was able to crack through it. Right. Um, uh, Barney didn't know, is that just because Odo was tired and had, did, had the legs and Bolton was fresh and that was the Delta and the difference between them. Maybe, but, uh, look, our wingbacks, we've got, oh, and that's the other thing I didn't look up. Let's bring up the, uh, the lineup rotate just because I want to see. So it's Barney and Lee, but who comes in? We've got, um, let's bring this over here. We've got Bolton to become, come in on the right-hand side, but we really have nobody on the left. So this is going to be Mendy with after and with no sub coming in. So that's going to be potentially an interesting thing to follow throughout. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do a little bit play by more play by play than than random talking. What I was told by people is they appreciate that a little bit more as far as envisioning the game if they're listening to me. So I'm going to try and do that. Uh, Scott Oldham, as we went through, uh, doesn't like the cards, but he's happy to give out the fouls and the pens. Um, experienced. So hopefully we, we get that again. And if I recall correctly, I did appreciate him during the Barrow game because he did let them play a little bit. There was some physicality involved. So... Travis with the bold statement. I'm not going to repeat it. I don't want to put the, the, the curse out there. So yeah, I guess. Okay. TOC can pull in good. Well, well called Andrew. Um, and maybe that's where he draws in depending on how Luke Young's doing in the, in the middle. It's going to be par decision time for Parky in the 70th minute. <laughs> Denise, welcome. Pleasure to have you back. The Andrews here. The regulars are here. We're already sitting at 126 people. Um, we broke the record last time, by the way. We had 477 concurrent viewers. Uh, we had 500 and some hours of watching, watch time, 517 hours um, watching. And we broke the record for most messages during a game. So uh, other than views, views still owned, uh, the, that record still owned by the Knotts County game and the Stockport County game were also ahead. But we will roll on and see how this one goes as uh, Mullen's standing up at the ball, waiting for things to move forward. I'm going to get my clock ready to, to get things moving. We're going from right to left on your computer screen, TV, wherever, radio, YouTube, wherever you're watching. <laughs> and uh, Tranmere from left to right in the Derby. 
I guess we're calling it, as that seems to be where the vote is going. I don't know which, what name this derby has, but the fans are into it. They're cheering. The whistle's getting ready. This one's going to be heated and emotional. And hopefully these are the types of games that we win. Is We're fired up, and let's get it going back to boil. And we're working towards the tech end to start. Interesting stat that was brought out last time. We haven't scored in front of the tech end since the, te- since the temp cough has gone up as it gets kicked out. And it's going to be a throw to Tremere. I'm ready. I'm dying. I didn't sleep well last night. I was on my mind all yesterday. And so, yeah, let's let's get into it and see where we're at. Throw in down the right-hand side. Bounces around, still moves forward, and it's overhead kick to Ogonquo, who just goes and collects it easy. Hasn't picked it up. He's going to play it with his feet. A minute in, things are slow and tempered and controlled. A 3-1 win. Yeah, throw those score predictions out there. I I said 3-1 only because uh, we haven't been running the, you know, we've had some recent clean sheets, but there's been enough mistakes that I think that there's one in Tranmere having scored 19 in their away games so far. As it's down the left-hand side, Mendy's chasing it, bounces around, and Lee's going to collect. No, he leaves it to go out of play, and so he's 25 yards out with the throw, and he's going to draw it back to Boyle on the left-hand side. All the way back into our own half and kicked forward. Just missed by Fletcher and it's punted forward to Fletcher. Back heel over to Mullen. He gets it over to Mendy. Left-hand side outside the box. Mendy's, oh, he dances around him. He's there. Served up far post too far. Headed away. But right there for Young. Blocked inside the area. 18-yard box just outside to the right. We're swarming. We're moving and Young had a clear shot. But then a player out of nowhere and blocks it. Let's take this. And here they come on the counter now. This looks like Apter on the right-hand side. So we're going to get our first look at number 25. And, ooh, Boyle steps in and gets the strip on the the deft-moving midfielder Apter. Or do you call him a winger? Impressive start. And I know we're going to get at least one shot out of that as it goes out. Clueworth kicks it out, tries to get the draw, but it's going to be Tranmere's throw in from 10 yards from the goal line on the left-hand side. Oh, 18 yards. They take it quick. And so they're now working it down. Handball. No, not given. And so it's now back. There's a big shout from the crowd and from the players. Not given. It looked like it came back awkwardly, but the referee okay with it. And it's just nicked by Cannon. Brilliant interception coming back. And he kicks it forward and it's, Flicked on, but Fletcher can't get it from Mullen. Flicking it on. Hoo-wee! We are underway. That is for damn sure. Barnett going to throw this in 40 yards, just inside the midfield stripe, I suppose. I got to bring up. Amazing energy, Ernie, early Brendan. Um, absolutely all for it. So I'm going to get settled in. This could be a fun one. Looks like it early. Tranmere with it. They've done the switch over to the right-hand side. Apter's going to head it back. And so we've got Lee and Mendy both responsible for Apter on that side. Haven't seen Walker as of yet, but you know he's prowling the midfield. And you're going to have to tell me, Kip, who Sol Campbell is. Feathering Soul Campbell. Do I want to know what feathering is? Move forward. Tranmere, dangerous position. Outside the 18 yard box, kicked and just completely missed wide to the left. And he's claiming a deflection and that it was confused. I thought it went through his legs, but we'll watch the replay here as this moved forward up. And that's Morris that slid, slid in. And I've got him down as a seven and not a nine. Uh, that's on me and a typo error. And I've also got him in the sub, so I might have to correct that at the half. We'll see how things are going. John, welcome. It's nice to see you here. You were in here earlier. Um, I thought you were gone, but I'm I'm pleased to have you here. As Ogonko takes that and launches it deep into the field, Fletcher took it on the chest, but not enough steam to move it over to the right-hand side, so it's potentially coming the other way. Ooh, ooh I thought dangerous, almost head flash, but they got out of the way of each other. That was Clueworth. And back to Ogonquo. Ogonquo, Clueworth, all the way at the back. EOC now, walking it forward from the middle of the pitch. One shot apiece. 
missing we're missing that connection once it gets up into the final third we've been buzzing around but we've missed a couple of connections now from the midfield going forward and so hopefully able to clear that up as it's stalling progression here one nothing wng always appreciative of the scoreboard updates and the dons with an early lead in their game against crew goals early in this one and i'd like to see knots get some some roll on because i don't think that they're going to make the playoffs i don't well they're certainly not going to challenge for the top and they've got some games coming on that would be helpful for us i.e stockport county later this season in the middle of the pitch it was a long bounce around headers back and forth and it landed on lee's foot he gets it over to mendy on the left hand side he slows it down as we only had three people forward and now we're set up switch no instead he looks for fletcher but it's a little bit short on that long switch from about 45 yards out towards the 18 yard box and fletcher just can't get there can't get there that's what i said feathering what is it uh feathering do i want to know rolls around we're able to nick possession boyle has it middle of the pitch he pushes it forward touched by by fletcher to mullen mullen though loses it and it's off to turnbull on the left hand side gets it over to wood in the back and EOC nicks it off that pass and kicks it forward. And Fletcher's there. We had a slip of a defender and couldn't take advantage of it. Still a fair of a ways away out, 35 yards, but we had a slip and it was just the unfortunate one touch. If he took him on, he probably could have gone with it, but he just ditched it back passing, not expecting the defender to fall and had that opportunity. That'll be the poll question if we don't get the answer. Fletcher up in the air, grabbed, held, and we're going to get a free kick 35 yards away. And then he kicked the ball away. And there's a yellow. Yarny. Made no sense. Just a, a stupid time waste for kicking the ball away. And, uh, yeah, pick that one up, and hopefully that comes back to haunt him. Number 21, Yarny with the yellow. Taken quick over to the right-hand side. Kluwerth beats his man. He still has it. 18-yard right out in front of, outside the area over to Lee. He gets it to Mendy, left-hand side, into the box. Looking to take on his man uh, towards the goal line. Dances around him. Goal line crosses, but headed away. Lots of red in the back. Lots of black in the front. And they were able to get up and climb the ladder. If he could have got it up and over, probably was dangerous. O'Connell tries to get it in. It's still there in the box, up in the air, and cleared. Is Cluworth able to get that one back? No. And so away they go, and they just thump it all the way down the field. And it's Jennings on Cannon. Jennings scores. Cannon couldn't handle Jennings, and he pots it. one nothing, bad guys. Jennings outworked Cannon. Just beat him. Just beat him. And Cannon, Cannon went to ground and says he was fouled, but that was just Jennings outworked him. Oh, sorry, Morris. Was that Morris or Jennings? Morris. Sorry, number nine is Morris. I've got the number wrong. And I noticed that on the graphic. Yeah, Morris just got beat. He just got beat. The ball was there. He had position, a bit of a bounce, and then he just misplayed it, and Morris nicked it and put it in. Wrexham fans picking it up and singing, trying to get the boys woken up and going. A little bit of heart stopper. Not where we want to be nine minutes in. Bugger. Bugger. Played it, didn't make contact. Left. Morris was all wide open. Could have gone any way that he wanted. Ogonko tried to come out. Nothing much he can do in a situation. You're, you've got a guy wide open. Uh, basically from the spot is we move forward and get it up in the air. Nothing there. We better not wreck some this game. Hope takes one on the chin, but hey, maybe we're just back to uh, good old fashioned Wrexham and we're building up for the documentary, right? Right? A little bit of drama, a little bit of. Just. Foul free kick taken quick by Tranmere, and they move it over to the right-hand side. 
after draws it back to the center backs. Morris Norris. Norris, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. I'm going to, maybe I should start pulling that up right now and fixing it. Uh, return pass to Fletcher, missed him, couldn't get it through, and we're in trouble uh, in connecting from that midfield going forward, even when it's through the middle of the field and just not handling things quite right as of yet. I'm going to make that change slowly as we go through this, although I may end up slowing things down on the video feed as it comes back to Ogonquo. He's got it. Long kick towards him that ended up settling. He's got it down and plays it forward. Long ball down the left-hand side through the middle and it can't get it. Fletcher's up there challenging everyone and he's not done bad at, uh, if not to maintaining position, a possession, at least moving it around. He maintains possession. It goes to Lee. Lee tries to get it to Mendy and can't. Ooh, kick in the back of the legs. Maybe a foul there, not a yellow, but a foul, but they don't give it. And so now we've got Mullen. He's all the way back. Fletcher right there to Mendy. He's in the middle of the pitch. Mendy trying to lose his possession. Are we able to get it back? That's a handball. No call, but it's to Luke Young. Shot. Great save. McKee going to the right. One of those. Young took a shot like that from about 30 yards out and almost got it. And we're going to get a throw up against the goal line from the hard work from Mullen. Young, he's been doing well with those shots. He's, ah, Mansfield is up. The Dons are up. The things are not looking good. Wrexham right now as we bring this in. 38 minutes. And then Lee kicked the ball away and we take a foolish yellow. Elliot Lee drew down the man and then kicked the ball away. And so uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And what's uh, stupid for Yarny to do kicking the ball away. Lee does the same thing. I don't know why he, he would have kicked that one away because they weren't in the threatening position being 30 yards away from goal. Uh, but emotions are hot. Decisions are suspect. <laughs> Lee, 12 minutes, yellow. All the way down, it is Tranmere with it down the left-hand side. This is Wood. Gets it towards the middle. Give and go, knock down, and they're going to give a foul. I don't know if that push was that significant. Jennings went down pretty softly there, and he's down screaming. They're saying that was definitely a foul, and he's actually holding as though he's got the boot or cleats into the back of the left leg so it's going to be a it's a they could take a, a crack from here it's uh it's outside the 18 yard box over on the left hand side it's probably 25 yards out two man wall hendry's lined up ogonkwo confident that he only needs the two and now oh, we've run over an extra man for three The standard acting is going on as far as who's taking this. Is somebody going to go over here? Are you going to play that ball? I don't know what we're going to do. Left footer. It's going to be across. It's in headed, headed down again. And oh, just there and saved away from the line. Cannon saved a goal right there. Mansfield up two nothing. Ay, 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 ay. Not okay. We are not okay. So the ball floated in, headed down and then headed forward. And then, ricocheted off a boil it's going to go for a corner is uh, it was there Ogonko couldn't right get over there maybe he could have but it was no question from cannon and he just boots it up over top of the net well done by cannon to save one that was destined for the left side of the net so it's going to be a right-footed in swinger in front of the fourth wall stand and here it comes hands are up Tranmere delivery it's a flat ball short post and it's headed up headed up again by Barney it's outside the area and played back in Headed by Boyle. He's able to get it forward enough. Mullen's going to give it the chase, and he's going to go all the way back to McGee. And I am going to... Nod it on. Fletcher in a battle. Just scramble. Lee has an 18-yard area, and all nicked away by O'Connor as he pulls it away. And it's out for a throw. We take it quick. It's down right-hand side. We're willing to move forward fast here. We're, we're doing as much as we can. 
Mullen, right hand side. Barney dances too many through the middle. Goal line crosses Fletcher. Oh, paired away, parried away by McGee. Brilliant play, and Fletcher ends up on top of him. McGee's complaining for, and it goes out. We're going to get a throw. I think Fletcher took an opportunity there to give him a little bit of the business. It's still in the play. 18 yard box headed away. And oh, it's put down by Walker who gets it out of the play. And it's going to roll for another throw in the 18 yard box area. As we're storming, things are looking good. Barnett, that was a great move. Um, able to move that one forward. Barnett with it, still waiting for the throw. Barnett with it now. Cross. It's it's a good one. It's there. It's oh, just headed away in the back of the head just briefly as Fletcher was there. It's now Lee, right-hand side, outside the area. Squared. Cannon can't. Got the boot, but amazing block. Handed over to Mendy now. Left-hand side, goal line. When we get into this area, it's just swarm in possession. Extended possession. And McGee goes up and collects it. And they say it went out for a corner. And they... They give it. I don't think that went, did go out, but we're going to get a free corner here. I don't think he went out of play. Mullen flicked it out of his hands and upset McGee, and it's going to be a corner over on the left-hand side. I'm assuming that Young is going to take this one. And yes, right-footed in swinger. Let's pot one here and make some controversy. Let me know what your thoughts were if you were watching, if you thought that went behind the line when he caught it. He caught it to the right of the net, and I thought he kept it in front of the line. But they're saying no. Remember, it has to go all the way across. Tommy P, good morning. We've got a war in the middle that's going to take some time as the referee is blowing whistles. And he's calling people out. Fletcher is getting a talking to as, oh, this is, that's Turnbull and Fletcher having a war. And I think he was showing that he got scratched in the chest, Turnbull was. And now we're lined up again, still pushing and shoving, going in the middle of the pitch. And here comes the right-footed in-swinger in front of the tech end. Dangerous. It's up there. Uh, got headed away. It was, a, it was a good ball. High, middle of the middle of the goal, but headed away. And kind of lots of space. Oh, it took a little bit too long. He gets it over to Barney. Barney, too, a bad first touch, but he tries to save it. It's kicked back over by Fletcher. Barney, that first touch, pushed it too far, got to the goal line, had no angle, and put us in, into trouble in maintaining it. But now it's just, just continual pressure. Is that now that's touched, and we're going to get a corner. The siege is on as Mansfield. Talk about a siege. Bradford, the chickens, just not showing up today. Mansfield asserting themselves after a bad performance. That's John, I'm with you. I think we I, optimism abounds because we're storming, right? But uh, I'd like to get one early and get us back. Right footed, it's there. Oh, headed away. And they've got a player down, scrambled. Hi, yi, yi. The service has been been good. That uh that one was a higher ball than the last one from the other side and went to the far post. And EOC trying to was that EOC? I believe it was trying to climb the ladder there to get up. Uh just not able to make it. Yes. We're down one nothing. A mistake by uh, Cannon going back on a long ball with everybody, all the center backs forward. He was the last man back and responsible. Missed on this clearance attempt, and Morris Norris, sorry Norris, put that one in. The graphic's been changed, although I didn't change the substitutes. We'll worry about that later. And I've got to pull out the stats here. Five shots to three already. 18 minutes in as they're uh, banging through the opportunities. And it seems to be they're, they're quick through. Not a lot of possession, which is expected from their stats. 45.9% to ours, us just being at 50.5. So we're maintaining more possession than they are. Our challenge, getting it from midfield through to our forwards or our wings, wing backs. Once we do, we're in control. And it's just a continual siege. But here's our attempt to try and get it forward. And that gets cleared away. So we'll get a throw in from just inside the half. Midfield strike throw. Going to draw it back to Cluworth. Fletcher trying to get that one can't. And here comes Tranmere on the 
Well done, O'Connell, stripping that one away on free possession as they were coming on the counterattack. And now it's Mendy. Lee, left-hand side, just outside the area, takes on his man, goes to the right, says no, goes to his left, says no, gets it to Mendy, left-hand side. Mendy, is he going to dance around his guy? He gets it to Lee now. Still on the left-hand side. Lee now looking for a cross that too close, swept and not hit properly and missed it. Sharky's already into the totems and the and the lucky charms. If you've got them, get into it as crew draws equal. Let's just leave that score just like that. W and G, let's not touch that again. Let's keep it there. And Lori C, welcome to the Red Horde. Appreciate you having you. Appreciate you being here. Possession 53%, 47%, shots 5-3. And our accurate pass is 73%, pretty pretty equal so far through the statistics. Just that one miss hit on the clearance. And there's some shirt pulling and they give it a late foul. And EOC says, I was blocked off. I was, I was standing and holding my position. He grabbed me, so I grabbed him back. But they say, the ref says no. So this is going to be 40 yards away. Uh, well, maybe 35. Get into it. Walker stands over it in the middle of the pitch and they're going to play it quickly. No, instead they, I thought they're going to play it backwards, but instead this is Hendry's got it. He's going to draw it back to Walker who's sitting in the middle of the pitch and he serves it up long to the left of the penalty area. It's headed down by Tranmere, but it's going to go for a goal kick to Ogonquo. Hi, yay, yay. So much drama. 171 of you tuned in. Welcome. We're watching on iFollow down below. You're going to have a little bit of latency. No spoilers. Tranmere fans, you're more than welcome. Just be civil. Uh, but feel free to come in and join. Um, let's get into it as Ogonquo just plays it gently to boil to his left. And I'm going to be one second really quick as I just ninja off and ninja on. Vamos, muchachos. Indeed. Let's go. Long ball pushed forward. Mullen can't get it. It goes to McGee, who's looked all the part that we've expected. Um, another couple of things. Hit that like button while you're watching this thing and let the algorithm gods know that we're here. Um, Subscribing is wonderful as well. But uh, yeah, let them know. Keep the chat going. And it's headed down. Well done. Got it over to Lee. That right-footed sweep. He's just missed that now twice in a row. Um, and I haven't seen him do that. It almost looks like a pendulum motion where he's sweeping extended with his right foot and both times one went he was off his his entire uh the dawns wg i told you to keep the score the same they go back on top up top two one lots of goals everywhere today and to be fair with this referee 4.7 goals per, per game in the ones that he does aim better something has to happen i haven't seen that sweep so Throw in Tranmere left side just got it in. It's kicked down, and O'Connell's able to get there and plays it back. So well done because we got an opportunity to get to the middle of the pitch, and that was Barnett going long. Uh, Fletcher had him framed up, backed into him, just just couldn't get the header with enough on the header to get it over to Mullen on the right hand side. And McGee rolls to him, clears down Boyle, gets it down to Lee. Lee now moving forward, and another bad pass from Lee, but it's cleared out then we'll get it for a throw in. That's three bad passes from Lee. And usually you don't see hardly any. So I don't know what's going on there. He just, he's, he looks off to me and somebody tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I don't think I've been critical of Lee ever. Battered into, and he's down on the ground and they're not calling him. Fletcher's still down. He's rolling over to get up. And now Fletcher has it. He's fine. You, you saw that too, running off of the, off the bench and going down the lineup with some pace. Here we go. We've got the ball down. And when we get down here, we're fine. That was a great little nick by Cannon Lee into the 18 yard box. Mendy and Cannon working towards, and that's flipped far post two red jerseys there, but a little bit too far to the right. So Barnett steals it back. See, once we get here, it's just this, this constant siege Mullen with it, 18 yard box, right hand side, three men on him, gets it back to Cannon over to Barney, right hand side. He draws it back to Clueworth clue or sorry, young, Young headed away. EOC puts it forward. Clueworth and EOC wants it back, but he doesn't get it. Clueworth far switch. He's got Fletcher over there. He's going to run towards the corner flag and try to keep it in. And he does. 
to Mendy. Well done. Back heel flying through the air. That's impressive. Nice little touches right there for Cannon. He draws it forward. Fletcher. No, but it's going to go for a corner on the left-hand side. Right? And so we're going to have a corner. Luke Young's lining up to take it left-hand side. So it'll be a right-footed in-swinger as the bodies move forward. He's ready. Swept away. Ken is not able to get it. Mendy draws it. And he's going to push it over to the left. And he decides to take a shot. It bounces off of the head of, of a Tranmere defender. And here's Tranmere now with it on the counterattack as the red jerseys and the black jerseys go pushing to the right of our screen. Hi -yi -yi. Yeah, eighth minute. Thank you, John, for picking that one up for me. Eighth minute was the goal. Oh, almost nicked there by Mullen. Instead, it goes to McGee, and he's got it. 25th minute. We are swarming. 59% shots. There haven't been any, but we've got more passes. Shots on target are equal. Two corners to one as it plays forward over to Hendry on the right-hand side for Tranmere. Still on their side of the pitch, playing it back. O'Connor now switches on to the left. Pushed forward, left-hand side. Header's there, and it goes falls to the ground. Cluworth to EOC, easily cleared out of danger, and Cannon has it now, and he's just going to carry it. Right side, overlap. Barnett's there. Fletcher says, give it to me, and here it comes. Defender puts it down, but all the defenders are back, so Lee's got space, and he can't control it. He can't control it. And so he ends up having to get it to Young, who gets it over to Cannon. The last little desperate hit, foot goes back and Lee's over on the right-hand side now. Gets it to Barney. Barney's there. Kluwer says, give it to me. Instead, it's a far cross. Fletcher's up there fighting through. Held up. Call Big shout for a penalty, but nothing given. Boyle's there. EOC comes back as an outlet to receive it. And he starts to push forward. Young turning forward. We are marching as Donnie goes 2-0 up on Swindon. Thank you again, W&G. Clueworth just inside the midfield stripe. Switches on Boyle left-hand side. Come on now, boys. Let's get one. Mendy. Nobody forward, so he's going to draw it back as we reset in the middle of the pitch and Boyle ooh, a little bit for, too far forward, but he's able to save it and get it to Lee. Lee, 40 yards out. Mendy flicks it around the defender who came after him. That was O'Connor. He beat. He got it into the corner after came out and after like you'd, I don't want to say expect, but after very capable, uh, just easily picked the pocket of Mendy and went the other way. Said, O'Connor, I'll save you. Let that one go. We've got it back though. Young. Sharky, sorry about that one. I assume that that was a, probably an okay message. It was just all in caps, my friend. I have a let that one, I think, go through. But uh, yeah, I can't do the all caps. Now Lee, 18 yard box. He draws it forward and just misses the pass by well, a foot to the left hand side. He had Fletcher open on goal side. If he could have got him that pass, Fletcher was free and clear to get in. Let's. I just want to watch this on the replay because I think this was a really dangerous opportunity. And that pass, oh yeah, Fletcher had him on the goal side. And if he would have got that pass to the right instead of the left, it would have just led him right into the goal. Uh, 18 yard box, missed pass, Lee. Just struggling today, not feeling it. Hoping that he finds it. There's Lee, knocks it down, good first touch, gets it over to Cannon and down to Lee, Mendy as we come forward again. The roll is on. For 57% possession, I'm interested to see the update as, it, as it's controlled. Lee now, center of the pitch, driving forward, finds Fletcher just off to the right-hand side. And, and there's... They're saying it's not right for Fletcher, but I don't know what he can do in that circumstance. The pass is a little bit off to his left. He sticks his foot out to try and collect it, expecting that it was going out to the right. And uh, and he makes contact with it, but it becomes an unplayable ball for Mullen. The chat has gone silent. Is this nervous, nervy energy? Are we feeling it? Is the MK Dons up 3-1? It's just bad news abounds. Tranmere with it. Norris, he gets it back. Well done. Tackled away, clicked forward, but right to a Tranmere defender.
Clueworth, nice little header to get it away, but Tranmere is able to get a boot on. The question is, is Mendy able to maintain possession and security does? He gets it back to Boyle. Boyle's looking. He's going to dance through two defenders and just keep on going up to the midfield. Boyle on the big run. He finds Mullen over on the left-hand side. He's got Fletcher with him. Finds him. No, he can't find him. Mullen now with it. Left-hand side. Up over to Fletcher. Ah, headed away. Dangerous ball, though. And here we come again with this surge forward. Young gets it over to Barney on the right-hand side. Cross. It's dangerous. It's up. Lots of numbers there, but it's headed away by Yarny. And it goes down. They're not able to clear again. Cannon over to Young. Young to Cleworth. Cleworth. He's stepping forward now. Young switches on. Mendy's come all the way over to the midfield. And he's in support. And he's going to put this one back. Just the pressure. The pressure abounds right now. EOC dancing through people. Barney on the right-hand side. Everybody coming forward. Scooped in the air. It's there. Fletcher gets it up in the air. Mullen looking to get it. Pushed in the back. It's there. Cannon! Ah, and it's blocked down by EOC. Darn it, Lee flicked in the air and it's going to go for a quarter. Just shot after shot after shot. And I don't know, EOC, could he have got out of the way and would not have gone in if it had gone past him? Because Cannon thumps it and EOC tries to knock it down. That wasn't intentional. I don't think that had enough behind it to go forward. But yes, brilliant series of attacks, James. As we're still running, I got hope. I have optimism. We can dig this one out. Hey, we've got our first Tranmere fan of the day. Welcome, Martin. Headed! Oh, McGee with it. Not into the corner. It was right where McGee was standing. So he's able to just put his mitts on it and secure that one off of the cor the corner from, from Young. My word. Just storming him right now. And that was EOC got up and just the placement of it. He had the weight on it, but just right into the hands of McGee. Long ball down. And this is going to be the game for Tranmere and hoof ball down and shoulder charge is permitted and Cannon gets right back up and it's still moving forward, looking for the lucky bounce like they did on their first goal or the mistake, I guess, either way you want to look at it. Whoa, that's a late one. That's right through. He doesn't give out yellow cards, but any other referee, that's a yellow. they're actually begging for a red he's never given out one a red in 10 games this referee so you know so that's hendry number eight takes a red on that challenge he came through him late he caught him high in the thigh you can let me know if you think i don't think that, to me that's one of those orange cards you'd you'd see it in some games but i just knowing the statistics of the this referee and so it's played back i uh, know i think that's a yellow I think he got that right. That's a yellow. Tozer didn't agree from the sidelines. Yes, Kim. Exactly. Like, and I'm okay. So we're going to have some time here as, uh, as Barney gets some treatment. Darwin went with the big move. Nope. Oh. I guess there's potential cards to the bench. They're getting heated over there. Lots of drama, lots of energy. So I thought he got him high in the thigh. He didn't get him high in the thigh. He got him on the toes with the with the boot as the, the shots are now up to nine already. That puts us on pace for 21 shots here. No mistake, Sharky. The people who don't intend to do it, we still got much appreciation for. We just had to set that up to try and get those unseedy messages that go out there in all caps. But uh, sometimes it gets the legitimate ones too. As Barney's walking out, he's got a little bit of a hobble on. But we're down to 10 until they bring him back in. The 30-second rule where we're down to 10 minutes, 10 men, but you've given a yellow card to the other team, so they've gained a temporary advantage. Launched forward. Mullen not able to secure himself and, and get it, and so it's grabbed by McGee, and they're going to turn it the other way. O'Connor with it. 
draws it back. They're playing with it with the center backs, which is helpful to us. Nine shots, 60% possession. Two, only two shots on target, but I'll take that. I think we're all pulling for Darwin. We want Darwin to get the money. Barney's back on. Tranmere still with it. Center of the pitch as they kick it around the center backs. That's Walker moving on back, who then gets it over to the left, and now it's played forward, and Boyle easily head, heads it down. Lee not able to get that, and I think, yes, he... That was close to being fair, but I think he got in there a little bit late with the feet, and so just the foul going the other way, and Lee serves it up far. We're on side. It's, it's We're a goal side, but the ball just rolls to Mullen outside the area, and he's being held. You can see the jersey coming backwards. Lee taking a crack. It t- took a deflection, but it would it took enough steam off of it that McGee was able to go over there relatively easily and collect it. Amazing. Amazing. I assumed blows, Denise, if that makes you feel better. The Dons up 3-1, Mansfield up 3-0. This is uh, a game that we're going to gonna have to get back into or we're going to make it challenging for ourselves, but we're certainly got the effort there as Fletcher puts it down in a bad first touch. That one was on Fletcher. That one he should have been able to control. Just a couple first touches. Maybe evident that people are racing a little bit. And to be, to be fair, that's indicative with Tranmere too. So there are mistakes to be made by both sides that might may lead to early goals. They're both going for it, uh, just different styles. We're building as they're hoofballing it. And we've gained maintained possession here. Middle of the pitch, that pass, though, takes a deflection, and it's going to roll. And Oh, the goalie came forward, and Fletcher's got it. Does he have an opportunity? Ah, it rolled wide. Oh, he was given offside. I don't think he was offside, and it took a deflection, and he was there. McGee had come out to go and collect the ball, and because of the deflection, it went over to the right-hand side. Fletcher was able to nick the ball, but they called that offside. I'd like to see that one again. Breno, all support from Brazil. Ah. Ten shots. Played forward, a little bit of a missed touch, but they're able to maintain possession as Tranmere, and they get it forward, and now missed touched again. See, these, this is what I said, those little mistakes. As Boyle has it, gets it to Lee. Uh, that pass was a little bit late, but a good tackle as well. That was well done by Tranmere to take that off of Lee's foot. And here they come forward. They've got a runner hit with hitting the gap, but Clueworth came out and shot off the angle. Well done, filling in for EOC, who was forward. Max doing the job. Colchester in trouble, falling into 23rd. They have games in hand over FGR, but as WG and G highlights, they're, uh, they're behind. One nothing. 11 shots. Norris, long shot, takes a deflection, but it's going to go, and Ogonko's able to collect it. Already at 38 minutes, we've got 11 shots. There's been lots of action, just no love in this one. No love. Just playing with it in the backs is Wrexham. Got it over to Max, who's looking up the pitch, trying to build forward 59% possession, indicative of our desire to move the ball as it's well done. Nice little touch. Right-hand side. Great defending on the tackle. That was Barney got it over to Young, and Young went on the run but wasn't able to beat the man. And we've got the throw in, and Barney's now got it over on the right-hand side. Barney looking. Uh, missed touch. He didn't know whether he wanted to pass. I think he just kicked it forward and turn around, turn over. Tranmere has it now, and away they go. And they've given it away off of the long kick attempt of trying to find Norris. And we've got it boil on the left-hand side. DeAndre, that's exactly the summation that I would put to this game. Once we're able to get it forward into the final third, we've been dominant as we get a free kick from the long distance out, call it 38 yards. Boyle's going to take it. Just move this thing forward and advance it. Breno, welcome to the party. And DeAndre's notes, if you can't see them. Most players are playing well, but it's not connecting. I'm with you, Bacon. I'm feeling the same thing. 
Clueworth with it now. Over to the right-hand side. Switches on. No, Young reverts back to Barney. Barney. Ah, another missed touch by Barney. But did they give it away? No, they're able to rescue it. Norris doing the tumble. And then Cannon took a took a, a foul over on the right-hand side. I, I missed it. I just saw the player going down. So I don't know whether legitimate or not. But the referee's happy to give away his fouls over the statistical norm. Oh, boy. We will have some extra time in this one. I'm going to guess uh, we had the goal. We had uh, the, the man down at least four, I would think, would be the uh, the time with Barney Barney's delay in getting going. Throw that one up. There's Tranmere. Thumps it down the pitch. And Boyle collects it after a couple of bounces, and he thumps it right back. Fletcher not able to get forward on it and so it goes the wrong way but it lands there for cannon who moves it forward to mullen mullen nice touch controls it settles it down lee edge of the 18 yard area looking for fletcher oh it was there and missed the defender but fletcher missed it with his and barney now right hand side he collects high ball into the area mullen oh just missed by a foot to the left of the goal i think the keeper would have been there but it's just the continual swarm Fletcher with that opportunity on the dive. Mullen with the opportunity with the header. Uh, write them all down so that I can recall them when we do the after the 90th minute as McGee takes that ball and puts it to ground. I love when we're winning where everybody's chatting and when it goes quiet, everybody's nervous. The fingers don't work when the, when the, the, the bad guys score. Mullen now with it. Stole one Fletcher. Fletcher just over top. Foot and a half. That looked more dangerous as it got closer to the goal than it was off of his foot. They're calling that a deflection. And so we're going to get a cold kick. But that was a long one from Fletcher. Did it bounce off a of Yanni? Left footer. Yes, it hit his foot. And that's why off of his foot it didn't look dangerous. But as it was getting there, it looked like it might come down and fall in the back of the net. And we're going to get a right-footed in-swinger from Young everybody's forward lots of tussling at the far post it goes to the far post headed away relatively easily but it's down there and we're going to collect it we've got lots of people in the box barney serves it up fletcher up he's still battling for it and he gets it over to the left nobody over there is it going to go for a throw it does we're going to get a throw over on that side <laughs> young gives him a push to after grabs the ball throws it in and it's served over by mendy to the far post barney's not able to get up there get that goal barney Right hand side, he's dancing, he beats two men, maintains possession. Well done, and then he loses it. Tackled away, but we're preserved and put the other way. Knocked back. It's lots of ground duels that we're winning. It's hard slugging for Tramir to come forward. The problem is, is as they do, they're four on two. Four on two on the switch over to the right hand side. Dangerous 18 yard box. Mendy there. Kick is forward. Ogongpo save. Collects it. We settle. Dangerous. All those touches to try and end up nicking the ball and you you know that once if they break the line it's coming forward lucky hats lucky desperation rally caps whatever you need to do lee now just cross cross crosses crosses the midfield stripe and gets it forward to mullen fletcher over to lee left hand side we're closer put forward to mullen i don't know if he was on side not given i thought he was off so we'll see what ends up happening here let's make some controversy lee right footed far post too far another poor ball like six feet past the goal it's got to be better got to be better the broadcasters are saying that that's that's me just repeating things lee is struggling with that final touch that final service that's like six or seven he had fletcher on that far post to two one-on-one -on -one in open space O'Connell gets the header away. O'Connell trying to get to the next one. Lee puts it forward. Yanni. They said Mullen dove. Mullen turned around to hit the corner and ended up almost going straight horizontal into the hands. Now, I don't know if Mullen jumped up there and was held by Yanni or Yanni was scooped him and held him there. Uh, I think that was probably a little bit of both. And so they didn't give the foul. Headed down anyway. We've got it. Entering across long ball. Sorry, across the midfield stripe. And Mullen's going to go over and chase it down. 
and it's kicked out. We're going to get the throw. Mullen takes it quickly. Fletcher, and the ball comes into play. Now we've got two two into play. Long ball forward. Lee not able to get there with the header, and it's just going to go out harmlessly. Chris, my friend, you're welcome back, but you don't have to do it, man. Or if you want to, give away some memberships. Um, but anyway, there is a join button down there. If people want to donate. There's also the ability to give away memberships um, through only three minutes of out of time. I find that fascinating. I would have thought oh, for Nepal, Romeek, new country for us. Welcome. Pleasure having you here. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that they're about normal. I know after the goal, they responded immediately. Um, but we're into the added time now. Woods got it, slowing things down. New country alert, new country alert. We'll take a throw on our, Clueworth has it on our side of the half. It's a mid to long throw trying to find Fletcher and it can. It goes up in the air and dangerous long young well done gets it up to Mullen he's just outside the box he gets it there young ah over top of the net by about four feet didn't give a corner I don't know if that was deflected let's watch the replay Park he's apparently incensed on the sidelines great header by young to get it to Mullen Mullen turns serves it back to young who's at the 18 yard box I think that went straight out anybody else Norris with it, playing it forward, dangerous, 18 yards, and they've been in an open space. Uh, well done. Barnett comes back and gets into it as there was a misplay there. You think that was off an arm, do you? I didn't even see the deflection. I saw the arm extended. Is It's pretty clear that Mansfield's going to take this one away. MK Don's fully in control. So the pressure's on us if we want to end up staying, staying pace or else we're going to be level with the MK Dons in the for the, the last promotion spot with Stockton Stockport having a, a game to play, two games to play. Ah, uh, Fletcher tried to get it quick to Mullen and it got intercepted, but it got flicked up in the air and Lee is able to go and collect it. Nice touch, gets it back to Cannon. Cannon now with it. One minute left in the extra time. Barnett to the right. He was unfortunately not forward, so there was nowhere for Cannon to go. So now it's Barnett. I would have looked for the switches. They've got five guys back all on that one side, but Clueworth now with it. He sets it to the middle, and uh, Mullen not able to get there, and it's intercepted, and they go the other way. Hi-yi-yi. After with it, pushing forward, gets it up to O'Connor, who's moved all the way back from his center back position. After with it. I haven't updated the shots in a while. 14-5. to five. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and that's half time yeah down one nothing a mistake on that play by cannon who was going back last man back being under pressure from norris he had the first touch he was goal side looked like everything was in control and then his clearance just didn't work uh, and so as a consequence of the miss, Norris gets the ball. He moves forward all open space right from 20 yards out, gets into the penalty area, and he just pots it. And so the battle is certainly on. I would uh, – I've still got hope. i still got hope. I mean, we need two. And that's the unfortunate part when we've got 14 shots, 60% possession, 180 passes, and just not able to get it. And so, yeah, that was flicked forward by Turnbull. Long ball down the middle of the pitch. Cannon's there, goal side, has it under control, knocks it down, and then I don't know what he was doing there. He sort of jumps in the air and goes to flick at the ball. And when he jumps in the air to go and flick at the ball, uh, he whiffs on it. And Norris just nicks it off of him. And Ogonko is left to do nothing. So that's unfortunate, frustrating. 
We've got lots of crosses, lots of play through the midfield. We've got lots of battles in the middle that we're winning. We've had blocked shots, miss hits, and about six, if I've counted them correctly, um, missed touches. I'm trying to see, did Norse get a touch? No, that was Cannon just fl flubbed it, and it was a right footer past Ogonquil. <sighs> Bugger. Not yet, Grizz. But to be fair, Fletcher's been looking all right. Like, uh, our, the attack is there. We've been a threat, man. 14 shots. That's on pace for 28. Uh, two. Two of them on target. Lots of blocks. We've had Young's had two real cracks at it. That second one, Brendan brings up the potential that was a sucker punch goalie. It's a perfect definition for it. The sucker punch goal. Boyles looked good. I, I don't know, Deandre. They, uh, Mark said the, this statement, and so I'll take it from him because I agreed to, with it when he made it, was we because we've been looking so good, I think you leave these guys on uh, until at least the 65th minute, at least, uh, because we're sniffing around. The defense is solid. The, the, the offense, when we get it there, we would call it the cycle in hockey where you're able to just maintain the ball in the offensive zone. Um, in that final third, we've been able to either maintain possession or nick possession or the, the crosses are going wide is they're narrowing their defenders uh, to right in front of the goal. And um, we had those, yeah, the two from Young, the first one was a sky ball, but he was, it was right there for him. The second one was a uh, potential deflection, but a corner wasn't given and no handball given. I thought it went straight out, uh, but I'll watch the replay on that one. Before the 60th minute, but certainly at the 65th, right? We've had a couple before. Um, and so we'll see what ends up happening if, if we end up doing that. <laughs> it's a fair comment, and I'm with you. John, three second half goals will do. You bet. They're playing well. Shite goal for them. It's not like they're outplaying us by any stretch, and I agree. I think we're in control of it. Now, part of that could be because they've got the goal, and so they're able to play a little bit more defensively and just try to eke out a home and away win play an ugly game um, no real need for them to go forward other than those long balls and let's be honest the long balls on two occasions have worked the one that led to the goal and then just late in the half there they had that opportunity down the left hand side so deandre take care of yourself family duties i get it can't you play youtube in the background michael nice to see you my friend but yeah it's uh it has been fnl or just canal Kenel, I'll tell you, Twitter's going to be ablaze with Tranmere fans. It's going to be just unconscionable if uh, this one doesn't turn around. So I've got my own selfish reasons to hope this thing turns. Um, I don't know. It, it, we've said this before. It's a, it's 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 a matchup that's looked good. We've been solid. We're we're buzzing. Um, I mean, our expected goals are equal, 0.64 between the two, but um, it's just a couple of bad touches here. Uh, the need for a bounce or a break there. But uh, that's, that's, that's what I've done. Oh, Chase Utley is in the present. And it's odd. I think this is the best they've looked in a while, except for just that, the touch around the goal. I'm just reading out the stats for you. Yeah, 14 shots to five, three shots on target, 60% possession, 242 passes to 183. Our season average, I believe, is 309 for passes. So we're only 60 away from passing our, our average for the game. 76% pass accuracy. You might want to see that come up a little bit, and that might be indicative of where we're struggling. And the corner's five to one. Playing Pokemon and listening to me while walking in the park. It sounds like a beautiful way to spend a Saturday. Next weekend's going to be crazy. Um, if you haven't been following it, there the uh, the Stockport game is going to be in the evening on television. So ESPN Plus, DAZN in Canada, Sky in the UK, uh, wherever you watch your Caribou Cup matches, that'll be available to us. Um, you've got Mansfield starting early. 
at 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern. Um, I think that's a 12.30 kickoff in Wales. And so we could theoretically go from Mansfield to Wrexham to Stockport, although I may not want to do the Stockport game because we've got uh, an international Canada losing to Jamaica, Ugh, an international play, put us into a one-game playoff with uh, Trinidad and Tobago, which if we win, we get Argentina in the Copa America in their group with Peru and Chile. So I don't know if I'm going to want to watch that one instead of the Stockport game, but we'll see. The lucky hat. Is the lucky hat the toque? Because it didn't work. Or is it the hat? Do I put the hat on? Yeah, Ruth, I, I apologize for being the bearer of bad news. It was an ugly goal. Uh, mistake by Cannon as the last man back. Norris potted it on the right-hand side. And it is what it is. We've been storming. But as it sits right now, equal on points, just up on goal differential on Milton Keynes, we do have a game in hand. But we'll be. But Stockport has two games in hand over us. And Mansfield will be stretching their lead as it sits out to six points, putting us into danger territory. Do not want... Yes, go and put on your lucky charms, your jerseys, your hats, rub your totems, light your incense or your candles, do whatever you need. Go hat today, vinyl, it's on. Nobody wants to look deep into my eyes anyway, do you? Joa's bat reviews, thanks for the subscribe. 14 shots on, not on, on 14 shots, not uh, on target, but 14 shots towards goal, three of them on target. Uh, McGee's looks solid when he's been asked the question and we've had a lot of deflections, bad bounces. Um, I've got three on fought mob, Kim. I don't know if it was two before they've added one more, but yes, Chan 14 shots at the half and not a goal. I'm telling you, we've been there. We've been storming. It's been active and busy. Uh, Lee has had like six miss hits two off of that weird sweep uh, the, the play over to, to Fletcher that went on his left and he wasn't able to get it because it, it was sort of in no man's land. You either go right to Barney or you go sort of right to Fletcher and instead he gave it to his left. This hat is from the Wrexham shop. It's been water stained and I don't know how and I've tried to get it off and it hasn't worked. I've had the blue one. I, I, to be fair, I like the design of this, but both of their hats, maybe it's just my noggin, do this little slide thing that I end up having to it feels awkward here, like it's uneven on my head, but it looks even on the way that I'm facing, so I don't know. Vinyl, we will uh, send our hate your way if this doesn't turn out. If it's all positive, I guess that means we all have to give you a big hug. I don't know what we're doing, but yeah. Player of the match so far. Um... Barney's had a couple of mishits. You know what? I'm going to go with Young. As much as I've got him fifth man on the depth chart, and my, and you could pick a, 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 you could pick Max has had some exceptional defensive plays. Whoa, Philly the fanatic, in the pitch. MLB baseball doing its promotion for its London series June eight and nine in London, and so Mister and Mrs. Met, and the Philly fanatic are in the building, and I can see that the I just got a kiss. We all got a kiss if you were watching, from the Philly fanatic. Um, good stuff. And, and I don't know if they've flown over the regular Fnatic, but it certainly has all of the actions and motions that the Fnatic usually has. I'm trying to get the kids to do the Macarena. Good stuff. Boyle, yeah, I could see that. EOC's been good. Clueworth has been good. Barney, other than those other couple touches. Mendy's been, you know, Mendy's been solid. He's in con for, for consideration. And if he gets that that assist, I think maybe that bumps him up to the to the top. Fletcher and Mullen have been all right. I still, for those of you that were able to watch that uh, play involving Yarny, where where uh, we ended up, Mullen ended up into his arms, like he was getting carried across the threshold for about th two two seconds, three seconds, enough for it to be awkward. Is he's completely horizontal and being held there as Mister Met and the Philly fanatic having a having a crack with the fans. Rock, scissor, paper as Rex goes around. Good stuff. You know, I've been to England oh, half a dozen times, maybe more. 
and I've flown in and out of England or out of London all but two of those times, which were through Manchester. Uh, and I've gone, taken the tube and I've been around through London, but I've never stopped and actually gone above and seen this, seen the city. I don't know, vinyl gritty as much as I, I hate Philly, Philly dominates the mascot industry. Gritty is, uh, <laughs> he'd be entertaining to be there. I wonder what people would think of him. Oh uh, yeah. Tranmere fans are just insufferable. It's just, we have to win this one for that. Just for that reason alone. Um, I don't know. And so nobody else saw that play had an opinion on what happened with Mullen. I think it was a bit of a dive. I, and I think Yarny took the opportunity and just gave him the little snuggle, the little threshold carry. Hey, while you're here and you're taking a break at, 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 and I'll remind you maybe before we start with the second half, go ahead and uh, hit the like button down below. Um, if you are like Chris and who's been generously donating towards the channel and you want to donate the membership, what it does is you get, uh, you get to, you, you get down listed down below. Thanks and appreciation. Deandra Albers being featured there right now. Uh, it allows you to use the emoticons. If you want to go ahead and do that, a flop emoticon, uh, dragon or otherwise they are out there. Um, and yeah, and everything that all the chat turns green for those that are uh, paying members. So just a little bit of a way to, to give something out for, for people who say thanks. And, and that's my appreciation. And I don't know, you guys also have to tell me, are you getting ads for the first time? Because uh, I think that they should be running during the live even. Um, and so I'm curious if anybody's seen any, which I know is a pain in the butt, but it's also helpful. I don't have a poll that I can put up if somebody has one. Where do you sign up? If you want to do the membership, I think the best way to go about it, it's only, it's 99 cents uh, a month and whatever that is, wherever you are. Um, and it hit the join button below. Uh, if you, you, there's another option available for you, if you wish. Oh, because I just lost my feed and I should hit the refresh button anyway. Hit the live button and see where I end up. Oh, I think I went backwards, but I'll I'll do that again. Um, there should be a join button down below. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't see it. Oh, that's because it's my channel. <laughs> Lee, I appreciate it. That's awesome stuff. Um, I do this stuff as a hobby, and it's great, but it also cost me some money to put together everything in the OBS and, and, and push this thing forward as my... A little nervous that I'm still spinning the wheels here. I might have to do a full refresh and do the hard button hit to try and get this game back on. But I, uh, I'd, I'd like to be able to get some more graphics, uh, the graphic card updated. And no internet, I've lost. So that's a me problem. That's not a service problem. To fix that. It's now refreshed as I get an update there. So that's what we're looking for, aren't we, Brendan? The uh, the second half team. And my chat has frozen. Is that because I've got it going on over here? I think it is. So I don't know if we've got another poll. I'm going to get out of this one. So there, the join button, if you want to, is down below. That gets you the membership for a dollar. And there's also uh, another button for hitting the super sub. I'm just going to bring that up so that you guys can see it. As my internet is starting to worry me. And I'm going to focus on that in a second to make sure I can figure it out. And if not, I know that I have Brendan always there at the ready, which is uh, much appreciated. I'm just going to load this up here. And yeah, there is the join button down below that you can end up hitting. That should get you to where you want to be. Computer to the other that we've got open network and internet settings. We will fix this problem before we get there. So just give me a second as I've got a problem here. Uh, show available networks. Carolyn, much appreciated been here for a while 
And like I said, I'm happy to take the tips, but if you guys want something for the dollar that you're going to put out there, feel free to do that. I mean, it's monthly reoccurring, but put it all out there. Just like Lee, this just did with the, uh, the supporter. Thanks Lee for doing that. That's awesome. And I'm going to, does it seem like you are connected to the internet now? I'm still, no, and I just got disconnected. No networks found. This is making me nervous, Brendan. You may want to just, as a backup, look to start sniffing your way forward. I'm going to swap over to our other network and see if this ends up carrying the day. Uh, it may be a false alarm as it looks like that worked. And I don't seem to have a problem now. Okay, we're going to be okay. So we'll see. Maybe this network will be faster than slower. You'll have to let me know for those of you who had a delay and were watching. Whether we're ahead is, oh, we are underway. 45, 56. Get back into it. And I'm going to have to skip forward. Lee with it on the left-hand side. We're a minute into play, and I'm going to have to hit the start button and run this thing forward. Add a minute. Just give me a second here to get everything all caught. 46. We're a goal down for a minute into the second half, going from the left to the right towards the uh, the curse of the, 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 the fourth wall. Is it no goals in front of the tech end in since January 11th. And so th the good thing is, is we do score the other way. So uh, we're going the right way for the second half, if you're worried about it, but we're going to have to have shooting practice going the other way as Tranmere is going to end up taking this from the second half, 46, 49. We seem to be all lined up. Everything is peachy and we are into the 47th minute. I may be, I may be further behind. I'm on, let me just, I'm going to hit the reset button here as I seem to be delaying. So just give me a second and I'll clear some stuff up here. Okay. We should be able to clear this up now. I've had to open some things to run things forward and I apologize for the little tech glitch and that's why I need a new graphic card. So the money that you guys are putting forward, uh, hopefully we'll end up improving things as we go forward is it's miss hit by O'Connell and it's just kicked out and it's going to be a throw 15 yards out. tranmere has got it and they're going to leave it and probably go for the long throw. Here comes O'Connor, their center back, uh, or right back if or is going to take it. I think I should be good now. Frozen like an ice cube. I think I'm okay. Still breaking up, eh? All's good now. Yeah, that was on me. I had to open up some things to try and get the internet going and, and find a temporary option. So all is good. I apologize for the hiccup. We're at the 48th minute and not a lot has happened. It's just been uh, a throw in from them, cleared by us, headed down. They've got possession now, middle of the pitch, and they pull it back to their center backs. Fletcher chasing it back to McGee, and McGee's just going to play it over to the right-hand side, and that's going to be to Yarny. Yarny, right foot all the way forward. Boyle collects it with the head and gives it to Cannon, and we've got possession and uh, gives it away. Heavy touch. We got it back. Fletcher finds it, uh, but he loses it. Tried to drag it as he was running and he left the ball behind. Audrey, you're very welcome. I enjoy doing these things. Like as, as it's, uh, it's become a nice release from everything that's going on. Um, frustrating on days like this. So I'll tell you that much is a poor pass by Tranmere gave it away to us. And it's going to be a throw into max um, in our half and away we go. You can always watch. It's just going to cost you the, the remainder down there. And I'd suggest like, and I don't know the date. I think our last game is April 29th, March 29th. Everybody should buy for the last stretch of games. And we've got a free kick there. Mullen taken down, not going to give a card. No, not giving a card as that was Walker who ended up pulling down Mullen. This is a ref who gives the fouls, not the cards. Let's hope so. Although it's, like I said, it's just the crookedness of it. So free kick, thir four, 40 yards out. Luke's got it. We've moved bodies forward over to the left. And so Young's going to serve it up to him. And let's see what we can do. 
here he comes right foot looking for something i had to put it on too far post it's and it's made by fletcher and put closer it's there ah, blocked fletcher smashed that with a left from like whoa risky touch by mendy there going back to ogonkwo Ooh, it's those touches that are making me nervous but fletcher smashed that from right i don't know maybe eight yards out and it was blocked brilliantly and just flung out the other way no, the uh, the the games are only on ESPN Plus, I believe, and they, I could be corrected by the Americans if it was one that's televised on Sky. So that means next week you'll be able to watch Stockport's game. Um, Barney tries to get it in; it's a little bit low, and so it doesn't really no, no real threat there, and it's just simply cleared, and it's going to go as a throw unless EOC saves it, and he does. So EOC keeps it in, says to Clueworth, "Go down the line." He's directing, and he gets it over to Ogonquo. Foot on the gas. Let's get her going. Fire it up. And I may end up temporarily slowing down here. I've got to open up something and hit hit the pause and stop it. So it'll slow down as I do that. Mendy's got to throw a left-hand side. 145 of us watching... See, which makes that Harrogate game, for whatever reason, absolutely crazy, as we drew in 477 people. But still happy to have everybody that's here here as it goes down to the left-hand side and it gets cleared away. EOC trying to get control, and he fends off his man, and well done by him getting it back over to Kluwerth. Last man. Whoo, pressure, but he gets it away. Young now, across the midfield, stripe. Forward to Barney, right-hand side. Just next to the 18-yard area, man isolated. Is he going to take him on? He's going to dance him. He's dancing, draws it back to Young. Young service there. And ah, it's going to go for a goal kick. It was right there for Fletcher, but I think that what happened was, was it Lee unmarked came in for the header, missed the header. And so I think that threw off the opportunity for Fletcher to find it. And his kick was a little bit late coming through and he pushes it up over the goal to a goal kick. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle in the middle of the pitch for possession, maintained by Norris as they've got possession now coming forward. 35 yards out after, draws it back. Uh, uh, Dolby's up. Unless Dolby comes on as a third striker and we're going for it. I'll be upset. Palmer's the answer. Are we offside? Mullen had an opportunity to backdoor a long ball and Walker was able to get it. Or sorry, Brad Walker was able to, to stop it. it. Mullen was right there. Oh, give it away. Lee outside the area. Shot blocked. Lee again. Dances to the left and he gets bad touch and he gives it. Ah! Horrible pass by McGee, goes to Lee. He's got all the space in the world. He runs it forward, and the defense is able to collapse and get in front of him. And then he gets the ball back, and the touch to, to go to the left is horrible, and he loses control. Mendy tries to get it across. Poor clearance, but they can't. Poor entry, poor clearance. There's just mistakes everywhere. And it goes forward and a bad touch by Tranmere. They turn it over. So we'll come back the other way. Young, middle of the position, gets it to Fletcher. Fletcher back to Young. He's going to go to Barney. Barney, 20 yards out. Young overlaps with him. Is he going to give it to him or enter it? Barney over to Young, two on two. Back to Barney. Cannon goes up, extra man, and then a pass that misses and it's given away. Goal kick on a missed pass. So much opportunity and enterprising play with possession in control and not enough finish. That was terrible by Lee. He waited too long. He had that opportunity from 20 yards out and he pushed it forward to 18 yards and it closed the gap and let the defender go. Lee's got a bullet. So he just needed to put it through. And I don't know if the, whether that's nerves. I don't know whether he misread the pace of the defender, but that was on Lee uh, in my opinion. The fans trying to get him into it. A long ball by McGee ends up being collected relatively easier easily and lee has it left side over the top trying to find fletcher no flag and he did a flick back pass and it didn't work and he gave it away to tranmere and so after's got it and collects it and he brings it back to the center backs and fletcher's going to put some pressure on fletcher chasing off mcgee thumps it down the pitch 
I think that was a slip. Was was that a slip? It was carried on anyway, and Tranmere's under threat. Boyle's still down. I'm going to have to watch this. I don't know exactly what happened. Steven, how are you? Thank you for, uh, you've been, uh, you've been here before. Okay. Long ball comes in. Oh, that was an elbow and a swipe right to the nose. I don't know whether it was the, the fingers and the eye poke that got him on the second or the elbow on the first one, but that was a elbow and a swipe. That was, that was a red, that was a red. 55th minute. And instead, he goes down to the ground. Boyle goes down to the ground. Uh, they say no call, not even a foul. He must have dove. And they uh, and they, they let him play on. So I th- the ref got that wrong. Mark is saying head injury, you got to blow it down. I, and the thing is, is if he didn't see the contact, he's assuming that there was no head contact. And so he's letting it play because he's assuming that Boyle dove. Um, just fascinating. Chris, thank you again for... Uh, continually pitching in and, I, and I'm I'm with you on uh, Wrexham has no finishing and no way to get promoted is here we go again young serves it up there's bodies Fletcher just missed everybody and it got touched it's going to be a throw in for us Lee collects it throwing it back to the left hand side this has been just the constant threat we're up to 16 shots Mendy he's looking we're down to 10 men as Boyle's finally able to allow onto the pitch Cannon gets it over to Young Young with it over to Barnett, right-hand side, 18-yard box, looking for a cross, swept, sweeps it up, and a horrible cross goes well behind for a goal kick. Needing the finish, needing the finish. Fifty-seven minutes, people running around. I wouldn't mind if you're going to bring somebody on, pull off a defender, and get uh, get Bolton on for. For Barnett, get uh, and bring on Palmer for somebody else. Ogonko will give it away a corner. He's able to save it for a throw. Bad pass back from Boyle there. Uh, ends up going over to Ogonko, who all he can do is run out and try and save it and get it out. As we're pushing forward, come on. Throw-in taken, right-hand side, fed backwards. Jennings has it, gets it even further back. Now they're moving it forward. Well done. Boyle nicked that away, uh, but it wasn't able to be maintained by Mullen, and they're going to collect it in the back here. Left-hand side, this is Hendry moving towards the middle of the pitch, 35 yards out, searching. More possession here from Tranmere. They get it over to Wood, left-hand side, 20 yards out, two-on-two overlap and they go towards the middle of the pitch line being held keeping them out all the way over to the right to o'connor with pace mendy is able to get there and it's going to go for a corner i don't know if mendy could have been able to turn that over to the left he ended up trying to hold the man off walking him to hope the ball was going to roll out and then got a push in the back had to make contact pressure was on and here they come with their second corner of the game two corners to six shots are now 16 to five at least mine, I don't know if it's updated. Yes, it has. 58% possession, still just three on target. It's going to be a right-footed out swinger from Walker. Here it comes. High ball, center of the box, and it's headed away by Fletcher, and Mullen's able to collect it, and he's got some space, but holds it up. Well done by Mullen to let the bodies come forward. Foul given, a delayed foul given. Mullen sort of, I think, milked that one. Fletcher tried to give it to him, uh, not able to collect it. And it's going to go easily to Tranmere on that long advance from Mullen. 
60th minute, it's time to start asking the questions of who's coming on. That's also true, Vinyl. We're there. Like, we're there now because we need two goals. MK Dons is in control. Bradford's in control. We need at least a point here. Mullen grabs it, nicks, nicks the ball. Mullen's still stirring the drink, gets it all the way over to Mendy. Mendy to Lee. Both strikers are ahead, but we're settling it down, trying to advance things forward. Boyle forward, finds Mullen, gets it over to Young. Right-hand side, middle of the pitch now. Clueworth goes up to help Barney. Clueworth and Barney's ahead of him. Leaves it for Barney. Barney now, 18-yard box. Crosses up, far post. Mullen there, too far. It's over his head and cleared. Knocked down by, by Kyanen. Barney swept in but headed. If Barney had a bullet, oh, and he's nicked the ball. Barney got it back after the poor clearance there. Poor entry, poor clearance, and Fletcher has it now. Back to Cleworth, looking to get forward. Middle of the pitch. Played forward to Mullen. Left from Fletcher. Fletcher tries to drag it, but it's clicked off the defender. It's just this swarm, the swarm, the swarm, but there's no love at the end of it. Norris brought it down. Boyle steals the ball. And we go the other way. Lee with it. Left, left hand side. Lee, he's got takes on the man, beats the man. Mullen, he's there. Mullen blocked. Cannon collects it, but he can't preserve it. And it goes to a Tranmere center back. Ah. Hey, if we gotta blame something, as long as it's not me. Just the pressure. The pressure. The screen of the stream. Is that what you guys are watching? That's horrible if that's what you guys are watching. <laughs> I might have to look to adjust. I don't know if I'd get in trouble for that. Is Mullen got a foot on that? And that means Fletcher's on onside in the box. Goal line pushed out. Can't call that a pen. Goes across for the pitch. It was. Ah. Are we frustrated yet? Sufficiently. All right. Your wish is my command. I will do as requested. Tranmere with it, 18 yard box cross into the box, tries to get swept in header to header, but they miss it. Mendy's able to clear it, but Mend but Tranmere maintains possession and Fletcher has to come back all the way back. 10 of 11 guys defending here as they get the cross in, headed away by EOC. Lee settles it down, gets it to Mendy. Mendy thumps it down the pitch and I don't think that's going to stay in play. Triple change. Here we go. 63rd minute. Uh, it is Palmer and Dalby. Somebody's got to come off that's not Mullen, right? Palmer for Fletcher. Dolby for Young. So we are going on the attack, moving things forward. I, I would have considered Lee, to be fair. And Davis... Well, Young already came off. So I don't know who that was for because they put up number eight twice. So got to find out who came off the pitch there as we missed somebody in the melee. So it's going to be a Tranmere throw in. 18, just in line with the 18 yard box. I will take the look. One of our own. He's one of our own. Jordan Davis is one of our own. Tranmere with it, right-hand side, 22 yards out over on the right-hand side. Still a little bit of a holdup. After dances around three guys, gets it over to the right-hand side, left-footed cross, but it goes way too far. Bad entry, but great little dance. Gets it around everybody, but not able to push it forward. I'm trying to figure out the makeup of the of the the.
Young wasn't my sub, I think I actually would have taken Lee, though. But I, I did want to put somebody forward. The reality is, is I just didn't want Dolby on the pitch right now. But So it was Boyle that came off. So Davis for Boyle. So we got two in the back and lots of bodies forward with uh, Palmer, Young, or sorry, Palmer, Dolby, and Davis. Tranmere still with possession as that stat starting to change as we go up to 18 shots to five. Young uh, gets it to Dolby who misses it and it hits his back heel and he just gives it away. Turned his back, thought the ball was going to go the other way, missed it. And we've got Mullen chasing it down. McGee gets it on a pass back and here we go forward again. Ay, 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 ay. Mendy with it, under pressure, running backwards, gets it back to Ogonko, and Ogonko dances the attacking player and gets it back to Mendy. I was thinking straight clear, but a little bit slow. EOC and Cleworth, the only ones back with Mendy, and it's played forward. Barnett up to Lee, misses him with the pass, and Tranmere collects. We're struggling to get possession here. That control and that, that pressure that we had isn't happening. Less touches going forward as Tranmere come at us, running at the defense, edge of the area, and just take it away. O'Connell stole that, and here we go the other way. O'Connell, halfway line, still running forward, finds Lee, moves it forward, right-hand side, eight, into the box, into the area, pass. Oh, and he had Mullen, and was that, that was Dolby. Dolby misses it. He had him. He put it right there, and was that, he said Mullen. I think that's Dolby. That is Dolby. Dolby missed that, could have got the boot on it and didn't. And so just ran to the keeper. And here's Tranmere back as we go back and forth and back and forth. We Dolby 67th minute. Slowed down by Tranmere, right-hand side. 57% possession, 18 shots, 251 passes. Not a lot considering how many we had in the first half. And not a corner in this half as Davis has it, gets it over to Lee. Mullins all, all the way up, all the way back. Played back to Dolby. Barney and Dolby says, give it. And he's offside. Barney has it over to the area. Crosses there. Header! And Dolby, two feet to the right. We're getting chances. We're still sniffing around. And I'm missing the chat because I've got the scoreboard up. And I apologize for that. Ay, 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 ay. Goal kick over to the right hand side. Given away. Palmer able to get that? No. Cleared away. There's still fight. And that's that's you're exactly right, Patrick. The guys are still going. There is nothing stopping this. Keep the pressure up. I'm with you, John. We're sniffing around. The only thing that concerns me is Tranmere starting to do the slow down, the happy kick around with the center backs, and that one just got cleared out of bounds. And we'll get a throw in on the left-hand side as it looks like there are subs coming. Bolton for Barney. 68th minute. Bolton for Barney. We are all forward on this one. I mean, at one point, do I end up taking this hat and throwing it into the rally? Too soon. I'll do the rally cap later if we need to, and we'll give her the old baseball chat, the, the baseball ch opportunity. I appreciate that conversation, Andrew and John. Bolton on now, kicked out, throw in, sent her the pitch. Are we going to take it from our side? No, Bolton's going to run forward. And the ref says, don't steal yards, but that's where it went out. So Bolton with it over on the right-hand side, tries to dance around the first guy, does. And he got a ball forward and it got touched. Oh, it's good. I thought it got touched. It didn't get touched. It got missed. And so it's going to be a Tranmere throw in. Is they're going to do a sub? Take their time. Throwing it forward. Tranmere with it again. He's going to leave the ball. Walking towards it. Next guy walks past. Referee's walking forward and saying, hurry up. So then now they have to run for it. As we get to the 70th minute with the wasting of time. 
and Turnbull throws it backwards. It is time wasting time. They're not driving down the flank. They're just, we got to put the pressure on because they're just putting it backwards and they go all the way back to their center back before they push it forward. We might have to break a little bit of shape as a guy just slipped, lost the ball. Dolby collects it, gets it up to Lee and he bad pass. I do not like this Dolby thing. I do not like it. Sean, I am. God. Like the back heel turn in the wrong way. The uh, Lee passed to Dolby that he, he can't get a foot on and he misses on, on the right-hand side. You've got the missed header in the 67th minute that went two feet wide when it was the first time where we had red jerseys with space in the middle on a bit of a turnover. And then we got a bad pass there over to Lee that just gives it away. Dolby can take a flying as far as I'm concerned. Sorry, John. Supposed to support our guys, right? But it's just a mistake to put... You saw his name in the lineup and you knew he was coming in at the end of the game. And I went, if we're behind, I'm going to get frustrated. And I am. Mullen tries to nick it, tries to nick it. Ends up clipping the shins. And so it's going to... I think he did clip them. And so it's going to be a free kick the other way as we take our time. 72 minutes. Are you going to take it? No, let's have a chat about it actually played not that bad. The referee is getting vocal with the time wasting. So um, they are picking it up under pressure as who late for OC, EOC to get it two men on and we give the ball up. <sighs> yes, they can Steven. There can be yellows for time wasting. John, I don't think I can drink that much. The reality is, is we're just not getting the ball. Tranmere with it, and then a bad pass there gives it to back to us, and Max has it. Max gets it up to Bolton on the right-hand side. He goes blasting down the right-hand side, punches it forward up to up to Palmer. Palmer turns him. He beat his man. He's there. He's got red in front of him. Cross, and it's blocked. Another block. Farfanugan. Would have been a tap-in if it gets it over top of that sliding defender, but it doesn't get there. And it's just, yeah, bugger. I hope he shuts me up. Uh oh, miss hit. Max tries to get in the air and he misjudges it. He leaves it to Tranmere. They're up on the left hand side, 18 yard box, and they make a bad pass. Bolton's able to nick it, but his pass over, and that's got to be a foul for us. And they give it. Davis plays it quick. We three on three. Mullen, Palmer, Dolby gets it over to Dolby, right hand side. Dolby, it's now three on four. Crosses over and it's going to go for a corner and McGee's giving it the business not the worst of entries from Dolby sort of into never never land as it wasn't a shot it was too far away from McGee Mullen was never going to get there Palmer wouldn't have got enough steam to get over there or sorry not Fletcher Palmer would never have got over there and so we've got oh Youngie came off so it's Lee cor Lee corners so right footed out swinger that is me not sw swearing headed up cleared and Cannon goes and collects. Cannon puts it back in. Nodded back by Dolby, put into the area, and Dolby tries to find it, shout for a handball. But it's knocked back for a corner, and Lee's going to go take that on the right-hand side. I didn't see the handball, even though I heard the shout. 4-1 Mansfield, 3-1 the Dons. We need to get going here, because we need three. One still not good enough horrible horrible cross missed everybody went all the way out it's good was saved for a throw player still in the box so it's crossed forward but it goes too far that cross was so far that when it skipped off the touch off the off the the pitch it almost went out to per touch like it made a, uh, I'm trying to get six yards past the uh, the far post, right to the corner of the 18 yard box on the other side, and a bad bounce gets Saunders behind Kluwerth, and Kluwerth gets a block on, but it's still there for Saunders. Shoot, another block by Kluwerth. Kluwerth able to save himself with two important blocks there after a bad bounce that ended up skipping by him. 
Shot on goal goes wide. Oh. Tranmere with a sub, 75th minute. We got 15 left plus the well, lots of out of time because of the boil injury and the subs that are going on as we wait for the subs. Waiting for the sub. Ogonko has got it, and he's going to take the kick down the pitch. All right, let's do it this way. The rally cap. Mendy with it. Can't get it. Mendy again. Push forward. We do get it. Dolby wins that one. And missed tackle. He's getting a grab by the arm, but he still maintains the ball. Over to Davis. Sw switch over to Bolton, but he doesn't. Bad switch. Not enough strength on it, but it's taken. Oh, that's a dangerous card. That's going to be a yellow. We, we lunged in. We got made contact. It is what it is. Taking their time on the free kick. 19 shots to six, eight corners, still waiting to take this one, 76th minute. I missed who got that yellow with that late tackle. I could see the, the hair screaming in. I don't know if that was Bolton. Or somebody else. Mullen's been great today, to be fair. He's won a lot of possession, and I'll give it to him. As we tried to steal that one, the referee says no foul. Interesting, because we did push him in the back. I don't think it was a card, but it is what it is. Bolton draws it back to Cleworth. 77th minute here, 78th minute. EOC pushes it forward. Bad first touch, but able to be saved by Mullen over to Davis. Davis driving through the middle of the field. Great tackle. Good tackle the other way. Dolby gets taken out, and we're this is a dangerous position. We are 22 yards out right in the middle of the pitch. This is screaming Mullen smash, and we'll see what happens. Mullen throws it over to D Davis, and he's not going to take the smash. All right, maybe 25 yards out. I did the rally cap, but I've gone the other way just because it's too big to sit on my head. Davis with it. Let's see how many we're going to put ahead in the wall. It's got to be a shot. Has to be a shot. One, two, three, four, five in the wall. Davis, the only man lining up. Wrexham's final change. O'Connor, TOC, gets back in 78th minute. And I missed who came out. Four-man wall, one just off. Left footer, here it comes. Smashed and over. Off target, missed it. Well wide, didn't look like it was going anywhere off the off of his boot. But he... Vinyl, nice to see you here, or nice to have you. Thanks for joining. I appreciate that as a... Uh, I know you were here before and talking about it, but I, I wasn't sure if you were a member before and just showed up. But uh, thanks for joining as a member down below. As we sit 79th minute now, O'Connor... Able to get it over to Bolton. Bolton dances around. He gave it away, but O'Connor able to nick it back? No. It bounces around and does a pinball and it ends on Tranmere. Uh, I would have let Mullen take that shot, but if Davis is the specialist, I'm okay with whoever had the best. For me to have a crack. Why? Because they've been blocking everything in open play and they've got even more numbers back. Good challenge by Dalby. I'll give him credit there, but it rolls to McGee and McGee's got it now, taking his time as he moves forward and calls his guys to go forward, even though they're already forward. <laughs> Come on, boys. Throw in Wrexham inside our own half as Bolton has it. 80th minute, thrown forward. Nice little touch by Mullen over to Dalby, who's holding up possession. Gets it back to Bolton. Bolton plays it forward. Bol Palmer, ah, not able to get it. Nice 
Nice little step over, but couldn't get around his man and we're able to maintain control on that bad clearance. And O'Connell's got it. He chips it forward to TOC. TOC up to Bolton. He's going to drive the middle because everybody's been guarding the line. Lee, dangerous territory. Right foot blocked. Oh, and it almost went in anyway. Blocked. Goes straight up in the air. Comes looking down like it's marked for the top left corner. And McGee's able to get up there and grab it. Vince, thank you for doing that, my friend. Gifting five mess five memberships. Kim benefits Tobias, G Zone, Kazuma, Mumblings, Tobias. You're a gentleman, Vince. And here comes the here comes the left footer. McGee is down. So that was a fun, that was a funny one. We're gonna watch this. Right footer bounces off of Walker and it goes up in the air. And the keeper has to get back and knock it, then duck around the pole. And he ended up feigning injury, take a little time off. And here comes the service. O'Connor doing it now. Swept in, it's dangerous. And it goes just wide. That was like a foot and a half. We're here. We're sniffing around. Andrew's heading to the bog. TOC giving the service. That's what we missed. Oh, and I got the door open and the kids are screaming. Going to have to have a delay between the after the 90 minutes to allow the wife to get ready. Bolton thought he had a deflection there. 81 and 82nd minute. Indeed. John. Clueworth under pressure. Gets it over to Ogonquo. 82nd minute. Tran Tranmere just taking time when they have possession and that long ball went uselessly to a space where there was no Wrexham jerseys. Oh, a pinball. And now they've got an opportunity into the 18 yard box. We'll go for the cross and Mendy screams back and knocks it back. And it'll be a corner. Nothing we can do there as they'll take their time for this. Put the ball in the back of the net. I'm with you. Sniffing around. Doesn't get it done. Have that. Need some magic. Not now for these guys, but need some magic. The ball's not even taken over to the corner yet. Like, if I'm the ball boy, I'm, I'm t running up and grabbing the ball and putting it there for them. 20 shots to seven. There it is. Enter, cleared out, and headed away firmly and then by Dolby, and it's now Tr Tranmere controls it with their center backs as our guys come forward. Palmer, Mullen chasing, so here comes the entry into the box. Far side, and it's cleared out. O'Connell smashes it. Can we gain possession? Palmer looking to get control. And we get the Palmer gets pulled down. A little bit of a flop there, but we'll take it. He goes down easily under the hold as we're up to 22 shots. 22 shots, four on target, no big chances. Mm. EOC looking to take it. Moves it up. Lee. Has control, right-hand side, gets it to Bolton. Bolton by himself, Lee looks for an overlap. Bolton says, I'll take the middle. Passes it over to Davis. Davis boots it! Keeper didn't move. If that was on the net, that was in, but he missed it by a foot and a half to the right post. Keeper was frozen. That's one of those ones where you see the keeper not moving. You're just like, it's in if it hits. It's in if it hits. And foot and a half, and McGee's it's locked on his heels. Farfanugan. The fans are bringing them into it. They're still singing. Touch there, but it goes to a Tranmere forward, and they play it forward past Bolton right up to the goal line, and they draw it back. This is Wood now, left-hand side. Back over to Wood. Lee's trying to get to him, but he can't, and it's cleared away, and Mullen knocks it down to Lee, and he leaves it. Attack goes forward. That's a long, inaccurate forward that goes to the center back, but we're able to get it. Lee takes it back on the return. Lost a channel on the header, and we've given it away. Tranmere with it. Oh. Going to blow that down. No foul. He's allowing that challenge? Like, how do you not give something there? Missed time tackles. That should be a yellow. O'Connell got the tackle. He got to the ball first. He gets clattered into. 
We've used all our subs. We can't sub them out. Bugger me. And it's a drop ball to Clueworth. And Clueworth is like, oh, you didn't give that a foul? So Clueworth just thumps it. They said, criticized Clueworth for saying not good thinking, but he had a defender on him. Because now somebody's got to go back to because EOC is a little bit wonky and Clueworth just maintains the ball and gets it over to Mendy on the left-hand side. Five minutes left. Let's push this thing forward. Palmer now with it. Back to Mendy. Halfway line, moving forward. Wendy's still walking. Gets it over to TOC, looking over to Lee. Lee over on the right-hand side. Moves it forward. Played forward. Ah, taken away. Mullen with the pass. Mullen gets thrown to the ground. We have plain advantage. Or... That was We could have shot from there. Drilled it forward, but it gets flicked up. Dolby not able to advance it forward, and it comes back the other way. Tranmere has it. Bugger me. The break is on for Tranmere. Three on four. But Max, as he does, finds a man, takes the ball, lays it forward, and now we come forward. One, two, three, four, five, six guys forward. Mullen, no, that's not Dolby, sorry. Left hand. It's there for Davis if it misses, but diving header. Mendy outside the area. Right hook foot and wow, to the moon, to the moon, to the moon. Michael Edmund, welcome to the party. It's too late. It's too late. We're getting too late. It's like now probably up to 24, 25 shots as we're sniffing around. We get the ball. We pass it over to McGee and we hope that he hurries up. But the players are walking. We got the bad guys. They're going to come screaming in here now. I'm all good with it. As long as they're civil, you're welcome to be here. Mansfield up 5-1. MK Don's up 3-1. Looks like we're going to be sitting in a precarious situation after this one. Mendy with it, has it, gets it over to O'Connor. O'Connor, midfield stripe, up over into Lee. Lee, right-hand side. Towards the middle, Dolby. Fine. Oh, tried to get it back to Lee, but another block. Just defensively, it's those blocks killing us. Dolby in space, left-footed. Headed away. It's going to go for a corner if it goes out, but it doesn't. Oh, so it's going to be a throw. Thrown quickly in, Lee has it, 18-yard area, trying to beat his man, gets pulled to the ground, spins, nothing given, no foul, and that's not going to be given. It hasn't been given all day. I hear you, O'Shaughnessy. Saunders, can he beat O'Connell? O'Conco comes out and nabs that one. Well done by EOC, injured, hobbling, and all, fends off Saunders and allows Ogonko to come and rescue. It is now we have it. Lee, up to Dolby. Ah, bad touch by Ball Dolby. What the hell was that pass? Settle it down or make the pass, but instead he does a one touch and it goes right to a defender, and we had numbers up there. Oh, that's a foul. He's playing, a, playing advantage, and now he gives it away. Kieran Morris, Rex, ex-Rexham player, looking to come on for Tranmere as Mendy has it on the left-hand side. Mullen. Gets it over to Lee in front of the area. Sweeps it over to Bolton. Bolton. Cross. Blocked. Knocked. And it's going to go out for a throw. Okay. That's enough. I got to go to my other one. Thanks for coming out, Lori. But uh, be civil. As I didn't have it set up. So just give me a second. Subs are coming in for Tranmere, so they're taking their time to. Timed out for five minutes because it wasn't bad words. It was just celebrating, but it was spam. And so you can take a break, Lori. We'll give her five minutes, and if she comes back and she's civil, that's fine. If not, it is what it is. Is we're finally back underway after the sub should have lots of time of lots of extra time. I don't know if it'll matter uh, as we just can't find that touch as Bolton tries to feed it forward to Lee, but gives it away, and Palmer tries to get it back, and it's going to be a throw in for Tranmere, as slow and easy as they go. 
That's it? I thought that'd be seven. Yeah. Yeah. Jennings able to get it, scoop it over to the right-hand side, and O'Connor's there to move forward, and he takes on Mendy. He gets it to the center of the pitch and a bad touch, and we can go the other way here. Lee with it. He's got Davis right next to him. Across the midfield stripe, he's got Mendy far to the left. Gets it over to Mendy on the far left. We're now 30 yards out. Mendy serving it up. Heather knocked down and uh, just couldn't get to Mullen. It was right there if we could get that. Always the optimist, John. Even in an ugly performance, I give you credit, my friend. These wins are ones where you're just going to put the pressure on for the six-pointers is what, what happens. This is one that we could have set ourselves up beautifully. And instead, we've coughed it up with poor first touches. This is a Wrexham loss and not a Tranmere win. Fouled. No foul. O'Connor's down. He just got taken out in the ankles, and O'Connor's still down. No subs left. Referee looks back, still looking for looking for O'Connor. O'Connor limping back, but he's up. I don't know where to wear my hat anymore. One and a half, wasting through in Tranmere with possession throughout, just in a in a wide triangle, playing with it. But we finally grab it, mullet. Pushes it forward to Dolby. Dolby's going to have to hurry to save it. And he can't. It goes out. Five minutes of extra time. Three minutes left. And that was just a miss by Mullen uh, trying to get it to Dolby. And Dolby not able to touch it. So it goes out for a Rex or for a Tranmere throw him. And they're taking their time as they're liable to do, permitted to do by the referee as well. Throws down the line. Tranmere has it. Heads it along. Mendy's there, O'Connell's there, O'Connell grabs it and well done. O'Connell flicks it over. Well done by O'Connell to steal that one and maintain it. And so we've got it now. Bolton moving forward on the right-hand side. Lee says, give it to me in the middle. And Bolton says, I'll keep it at my feet. And then he blocked. The script continues. We can go back to that window, can't we? And say we were looking for somebody. But Marriott was supposed to be the guy who stirred the drink. We went with Dolby today. I would have been more confident with Marriott despite the bad luck. Um, that he's had so far this year. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm becoming less interested in Dolby and I, and I know that's bad news. <sighs> Three minutes gone, two minutes left and Tranmere just with control on our side of the half and that wide triangle again, as they just work it to each other. And finally Mendy able to nick it, but he's up against the sideline and is, were able to maintain possession? Palmer does, gets it to Davis. Davis, what was that? Why? Why? You gave it to Mullen to chase, but it's too early and too far forward. So it's just cleared by the keeper and it's going to, we're rushing. Yeah, that's the, Tranmere has it now is on a bad forward pass by Cluworth as Cluworth goes back to take it. Minute and a half, looking for some time. Mendy over the halfway line, long forward up to Dalby, headed away, chested down by O'Connor who's up. Cluworth, right-hand side. Is he going to put it in the box? He is. Palmer's there. Had it a forward, and it's cleared out. Jennings there. No red jerseys on that Palmer header. As it's just every ball in the box is blocked or missed. Dalby not able to maintain possession, and here comes Tranmere. Last minute of play, and they're just going to run it down the pitch. Nobody back as we're running the wrong way. Davis is trying to track him down. He's going to the corner flag from one end to the other, and he holds it on the corner flag, and it just rolls out. And it's I didn't think we touched that. Big celebration there. We're out of gas. 20 seconds, and there will be a little bit of added time. Sub into the extra minute, extra time, and otherwise. And throw in wins a corner, and so more time comes off the clock.
going to play a short ball here and hold it up against the corner flag. And then they just serve it up and Ogunko has it. Let's go. I don't know why they did that. I would, and there was a whistle. No chance to go forward. We lose 1-0. Uh, frustrating performance. Of, I'll update the final numbers here. I'm going to close this down and give myself some room. Can't blame anyone except for our finish around it. That was a Wrexham loss, uh, not a Tranmere win. It was an ugly one. Uh, 25 shots to 7. 25 shots, 4 on target. We're in trouble, still in the top three, but uh, yeah, games in hand. Stockport's got games in hand. Mansfield gets further away. Those six pointers are just to try to save things rather than push for security. Um, it's it's frustrating. Is it the end of the world? No. Uh, we've got lots of opportunities still available for us. Um, but you can't look at that one and say uh, that was what we were hoping for. Uh, or that was an exceptional performance. Um, it's about securing things. Um, I don't know how we're in third by four points because the Dons should be tied with us and we're ahead by goal difference if I've got my numbers right, but I will double check that in a second here. Um, I've got to freeze this one out. I wanted to update my stop the clock because it's still running. We're going to join the after 90 minutes shortly. Uh, may have to be a little bit added delay or join and have somebody else do it so I can give my, my wife the opportunity to get ready to take the kids out as the offer as the shots on goal, 25 shots on goal, four shots on target, 326, 336 passes. Sorry. Um, just, it is what it is. Let's go to the league two table and see if it's updated the, in the manner in which I thought it was going to be. And yeah, with the MK Dons winning that game against Crew, they're evil. Even with us, we have a game in hand over them. Uh, that's probably better than Crew winning, um, given the games in hand situation, but not based on run of form, as the Dons have been hot and Crew has been not. Uh, Stockport, we're tied with them, three way tie, but they've got two games in hand. And Mansfield, uh, taking liberties with Bradford, moves well up in the table. Listen, I'm going to uh, thank you. For being here to the new members and to everybody who subscribed and to threw some cash in through the supers uh, and to Vince for buying five more memberships for the crew that was there. I greatly appreciate it. It's always fun, even when we're frustrated. Uh, Wrexham, it, we're into it. Nine more to go. Um, we'll be back next weekend. Um, I don't know what else to say. Next weekend, I'm just going to, before I jump over, bring up the uh, games for next weekend. We still have, by the way, Monday, Stockport will play their one of their games in hand. Uh, and I believe that's against Crawley Town as I'm waiting for it to load up here. I believe that's against Crawley. And it is. So they've got Crawley, a difficult game, a ninth place team, and they're playing it away. So hopefully Crawley's able to do a favor and keep them online with us in just one game ahead, but tied on points. Um, hopefully this may end up punting crew out as they get disheveled from things. Barrow and Harrogate, 0-0. Zero, zero. That'll help push Barrow out so that it's just five teams uh, worrying about things. Next weekend, um, the 23rd, Stockport County has an early game again with the Dons. That one's starting 5-15 Pacific, 8-15 Eastern, 12-15 in, in Wales. And then you've got the games at 12-15. We take on Grimsby Town away, or sorry, yes, Grimsby Town away which I'm hoping we're able to take up full points from while crew gets Wimbledon, a challenging one Wimbledon fighting for a spot and then Colchester and Mansfield. Uh, and that's a home game for Mansfield. That one, I hate to make an assumption on what's going to happen, but that's where we're at. Much thanks to everybody that's here as I'm going through the chat and it seems to be getting a little bit appreciated. John chin up for sure. We go forward. Um, you know, you look at the next weekend, there's still an opportunity to, to assert ourselves. Uh, I just want to do it before we get to the Mansfield game. And this was really an opportunity to push forward. So still sitting in third, tied for second, actually, if you don't count the games in hand. And that's where we're at. After 90 minutes, coming up shortly, I've got to do some quick graphic stuff, take a break and an interlude with my wife. I'll get it running. And if somebody else drops in to host it, well, I can't, I'll go with them. As I know, we're going to get lots of people in on that one uh, to end up talking. So... Talk to you guys later. Um, we'll be here next weekend.